Hello and welcome back to uh, Terran Beta Gem Silver 2 for the 2021 edition. Hello, guys. Um, yeah, we're making our way through Silver League, everybody. Uh, I am going to say, though, there is something. Last, If you guys made it from beginning to end in the last Silver 3 video, there were some moments during that that seemed a bit rough. And to be fair, it was. It definitely was rough. And the reason why is because bio is a pain in the ass. It really is. It's not really intended for this no micro strategy. Uh, bio is very fragile. And if it's not microed, it sucks. So I don't think... I'm not, what I'm saying is, is I'm not saying we're going to start microing. But what I am saying is we're going to start doing something a little bit more bio-centric with bio now. I Again, I, I was going to do this either way. I was going to do this in gold league either way but after that last session i really feel like maybe i should add it in a little bit sooner than than gold i'm gonna do it in silver and what we're gonna do essentially now is we're gonna start doing one word that every terran player that plays bio loves to hear okay and that word is drops 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 Drops, drops, drops. We're gonna do drops, guys. Oh my god. Build's gonna be the same still though. We're not changing we're not changing everything. It's not gonna be all freaking crazy. We're just gonna add in one uh Yo, Lasagna West. Thank you very much for the three month three sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're gonna add in one drop now. Per in the build, like, you know. Then we're gonna we're gonna literally what we're gonna do, and I'll explain it as we go, but the, the goal is is we're gonna use it as our scout now. Instead of sending our marines around the map one at a time, we're gonna now send a medevac out. Thanks for B2GM. Good luck today. Yo, thank you very much. Uh, having fun. Much love, dude. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So I just put two SCVs on the gas. We are, uh, you know, making our boy. Let's mine his minerals. Shift right click our minerals. Get ready to make our orbital command. Oh, and let's yeah. also expand, dude. Let's expand. Love you, vibe you, you. Here we go. Let's expand. Thank you very much, Sammy Chuck, for the eight month resub. Love you too. And also, I appreciate you for the 100 biddies are having fun. I think I might have said that already. But thank you. Sorry, my brain. I'm thinking about two things at once. Doing the series and also trying to make sure I don't miss anybody. Much love, though. Thank you. Toss a bit to your vibe. -o. Toss a bit to your vibe. -o. Toss a, toss a bitty to your vibu. Otherwise known as toss a coin to your witcher. Additional supply <sighs> Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. For the 500 bitties. You didn't just toss a bit. You tossed 500 of them. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and make our factory. Oops, no, no, no. Reactor. I put the wrong button. Okay. I was trying to turn my AC on. So remember what we talked about? This guy doesn't have a natural. If they don't have a natural, what do we do? We build a bunker. Make our lives easy. Make our lives easier. No, no freaking natural, we make bunker. Okay, let's go ahead and make another gas now. Now that... Uh, we have our factory done. Let's make another barracks. Let's make a tech lab on the factory. Rally all my buildings here to the bunker. And now we can start adding in a depot into the wall of our gnat. Start dropping our mules. Like a, like a good little macro turn that we are. Let's make our tanks. Get our gas saturated and re-rally our command center to our natural. Ready. Yep. Oh, Keep making depots. Yeah. So we're going to start doing, uh, you know, Malfire TV. Thank you very much for the uh, Prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you, man. Uh, let's get our starport and let's keep going. And now once we get our first medevacs out, we're going to start dropping. Okay. We're going to start dropping. Oh, get our tank up here. Siege it properly. You can lower that depot again. Thanks for the series vibe who got me playing again. Yo, Clammy Badger, thank you very much for the five month resub. And that's awesome. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to, glad to know that you're enjoying StarCraft 2 again. 
going down that RTS pathola. Much love, dude. Insufficient Vespine gas. <coughs> Insufficient Kay. Vespine We got our stim pack researching. We got a couple of tanks. Or we're about to have a couple of tanks. Okay, he's attacking us. So let's go ahead and... Now that we're getting attacked, let's go ahead and just aim with everything towards it. And we can grab our SVs and also aim move towards it. I mean, it is what it is. Aim move towards that. He's dropping me first. Okay. So now that's all dead. Let's go ahead and resiege our tank. Keep making our depots. We can make a siege another tank like in the back behind the bunker. Keep making SCVs. Keep making Marines. Keep, keep making our units. Drop our mules and stuff. We can put our more Marines back in the in the depot. So again, all we did right there was he dropped this base, so I A moved towards him. That's all I did. I just A moved towards him. Yeah, that's good. Again, it's not about micro yet. I mean, concepts is still there, right? We still want to understand concepts, but we're not actually microing yet. Okay, now let's get our medevacs going. Yo, know, deep and fast, thank you very much for the 16 month resub. Less than three. Thank you, dude. Let's siege our other tank right here. All right, okay, the Marines kind of blocked it a little bit. Maybe that's unsiege it and resiege it maybe a little closer because it's pretty far away. Siege like right there. And now suddenly, look at that. The, the attack to the fog of war radius is perfect. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and get our next command center started. Okay, we can take this SCV and uh, rally to the natural after, and then we can make gases here at our natural. What do we do when we make gases at our natural? We make engineering base, so let's go ahead and do that. And now we're getting ready to want to go drop him. So what we can do, what we can do is we can take one medevac and we can go like this. Just load up one medevac right here. Okay. And if you do it with a lot of Marines, make sure once you load it up, just like click to the air, the ground so your Marines don't like, they, you don't want this to happen where your, your units are trying to like follow it the whole time. You don't want that. You don't, you don't want your units to be just constantly following it. So just tell... You just to click into the medevac and then go, okay? Oh, and then, or then, then yeah. stop. Helping. So again, right-click the medevac once and then click the ground. That's all I'm trying to say. Sorry. Uh, thank you for the sub, General Duke and Space Receptor. Thank you guys. Now we can go like this. Click around the mineral line. Hold shift and click every mineral line around the map here, okay? All the way to the natural. And we're gonna we're gonna come back to this medevac. And what we're doing right now is we're trying to discover where our opponent actually has a fucking base. Thank you, Doug, for the bits. Thank you, dude. It finally happened. Got to Diamond 3. Congratulations. My COVID goal was achieved. Well done, dude. Congratulations. You're a fucking boss. Okay, keep making units. Keep trying to make units. Okay, now look. We found a base in the mini-map. So if you find a base in the mini-map, if you see that, just click, your, click the medevac and tell it to drop. Okay? That's it. If, if you find, because again, that's what we're, this is our new scout, right? And as soon as we see opponent base on minimap, we just drop there. That's all we're doing. Okay, keep trying to macro. Make our armory now so we can go to more upgrades. Okay, let's get our command center going to our third base. And let's take another command center while we're at it. And take this third base, because why not? Let's make a SCV. Keep making boys. Let's keep making some depots because we're out, we're getting close to supply blocking soon. <coughs> okay. So how's this going? Looks like it's pretty much dead. So how about we do select an army and just come right back to our base? Okay. And then grab another group of Marines, right click a medevac. Good job. Now, done. with whatever's left over, right click the ground so they don't chase the medevac all day. Now, do the same exact thing on the left side of the map. Hold shift and click, 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 click. And we're gonna, we're still macroing, but we're gonna watch the map and we're gonna see uh, when we, like, we're watching the, this is giving us mini map awareness, right? Guys, thank you very much for the support. I appreciate it. Thank you, Uncle Toby. Thanks, Vibe, for the chill stream as a place to hang out in this pandemic. No worries, dude. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, Lord of Second, thank you for the bits. 
um, B2GM hype train. Shia Moon, thank you very much for the support as well. Much love, guys. Thank you. You guys are the best. Oh, my God. Uh, so, again, all we're doing is we're using Medivacs as a scout. That's all we're doing. Medivacs are our scouts now. And we're still macroing as much as possible. And look at the... Le we're, also, we're also giving ourselves mini-map awareness. So, now, we haven't seen a base... On the entire left side of the map, so we know this guy has a main base. So uh, let's do this now. Drop the main base right there. Stop. Stop touching the medevac. Don't forget. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Don't even look at it again. It's over. Whatever happens, happens to that medevac. And why are we doing that? We're not worried about microing our way to a win yet. We're just worried about understanding that if that we need to set these kinds of situations up, so it's getting us in the habit of. Preparing ourselves to remember, okay, we should be dropping, we should be dropping, we should be dropping. These kinds of things. Okay. And we're a little bit late on the max this game. It's okay, though. And our opponent has left the game now. So, all we're doing, again, all we're, and then you know, we, you, this is the way it would go, okay? This is the way it would go. This is the way it would go. What we would do is we would once get, look at my army now. It's huge, right? But if my drop is dead on the map and it's not there anymore. Like if I'm like, oh, it's gone, I don't see it anymore. I could grab my army, put it in the medevac, right click the ground so they don't chase, because again, this is what happens if you don't click the ground. It's very important. Don't do this. L let me just show you what the bad way to drop is. If you just load up a medevac, okay? And you're like, all right, now that one medevac, let's go. I don't resuck my Marines, you go like this. You're like, do all these shift commands, medevac. Watch what happens to your bio. You're not even touching the bio right now, right? But they're all being told, let's all load into the medevac and let's chase it. You don't want that to happen. Because this medevac, if it dies, it's very, very replaceable. These are these are suicide squad marines, okay? They're gonna they're gonna get some shit done. And if they if the medevac goes down in flames, it's okay. Because it's not the majority of our supply. It's it's actually gonna okay. give us uh, a lot more benefit than negative. But th if this dies. Because you didn't go, Marines, right-click back on the ground instead of chase the medevac. This could be a problem. Because this is your entire infantry squad. And you don't want that to die. That's terrible. So, anyways. Again, the goal would be you load a medevac. Like so. Let me drop my Marines out really quickly. So you load a medevac like so. And then you, you go like this. Mar this is more Marines than what the medevac can handle, right? Eight Marines can go into medevac, and this is currently 12 Marines. So you click the medevac, and then you click the ground. Now you can tell the medevac, go there, and Marines don't chase it. That's all, all you gotta do. It's super easy peasy. But, again, what we're doing is we're using medevacs as a scouting tool now. So it's gonna start giving us the habit of watching the mini-map a little bit more now. Uh, and we, are we, I'm not telling you to micro it. I'm not telling you to get crazy on it. It's just the habit... I can't be bothered to figure out what bits or subs are, so here you go. <laughs> Twitch is confusing to newbies. No worries, dude. Thank you very much, uh, Vitamin C, for the $2 dollar dono. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so, again, all we're doing, all we're doing is we're going to, dr like, we're going to literally move our medevac, move our medevac, move our medevac, move our medevac, and as soon as we recognize, oh, he's got base there, I if we kill it, awesome. If our Marines actually kill it, then that's great. But if our Marines don't kill it, this is how it would go in general. Let's just say hypothetically that right here, this is my next medevac that's going down across the map. What I would do... Thank you, non-stop macro. Thank you very much, dude. 5SDEE. -E. Yeah, dude. So if I was at my base and I was telling my... How Give me the ladder points. Okay. Jesus Christ. Bro. Can't even fucking speak. Thank you. It scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Okay. So, uh, as we were saying, uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> so if I'm going to go to his base, okay, and I've scouted it, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to still, every time, I'm going to scout the bases more or less, okay? So, this is what I mean. I, I want to explain this in a very simple, thorough way. If I find a base right here, I do not want you to load up a medevac in your base and just go drop that base right there. Like, drop there. I don't want you to do that for two reasons. Number one, 
If you tell your medevac to go through the middle of the map, the chances of it dying without you knowing that it's about to fly over units and die goes up astronomically. Like, flying through the middle of the map, your chance of dying is so much higher than if you fly oh, through the side of the map. Yeah. Like, for instance... Oh yeah, so good. B2GM makes me re-examine the fundamentals for everything I want to be good at. Yo, Lucy Quiet, thank you for the six months, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, if you... Here, here, here's what I mean, okay? If you go through the very center of the map, your chance of dying is probably like 15 to 20 percent. Because your opponent could be anywhere... If your opponent is going to leave his base, he could be anywhere in the middle of the map, and you might fly over his army, and you might get killed. Now, if you fly on the side of the map, your chance of dying goes down from about 15 to 20 percent, I would say, down to about 1 percent chance. Because the only way you're going to get killed on the side of the map is if he somehow has units waiting there, or if you get caught by like a flying unit, like a Viking or something, or a battlecruiser or something like that, which is like randomly flying over there as well. It's very unlikely. It's a lot less likely than flying through the center of the map, which is why we don't want to fly through the center of the map. Now, secondly, the other reason why the other reason why we want to fly through the the side of the map rather than the center is because when you want to attack someone's uh, someone's base, if you drop your marines off like right here, for instance, what are these marines going to do? Number one, they're going to hit the command center only because they're out of range of the SCVs, and we're not micring it, right? So we don't want that because that that sucks. Like we don't want to hit the command center; we want to hit the SCVs. And secondly, if you drop someone's front of their base. It, chances again are really high now. Now it's above like 20%. It's way above that they're gonna have an army there that can possibly kill you. Like they can, they can totally kill you if you, like if they have like just an army AFK right there and you fly directly into it to try and drop the command center. We don't want that. So instead what we want Keep throwing money at Vine. Thank you Drunken Panda. Much love. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what we want is we want two things to happen when we drop someone's base. We don't want to get caught on the only command center. We don't, want, we don't want to fly into his units. We want to fly around the map, which reduces our chance to die. And then we want to land behind the mineral line and drop here so that our marines automatically start killing workers, which die way faster than a command center. Just for just throw some hit point values out here, okay? Every SCV has 45 hit points. Every drone and probe has 40 health overall. But every command center has 1500 so think about that like think about how fast you'll kill SCVs versus how long it would take you to kill a command center like you're not going to kill a command center most likely your opponent would probably bring an army over here and kill your your drop oh, okay yeah <coughs> yo uh dogurt Thank you for the two month three sub man what's up welcome back so again that's the goal right we want we want to um I'm going to rewind it now. We want to uh, get our army up in, up in the guy's economy. We do not want to get our army stuck on a building. Okay. And the, again, the concept is the overall concept. Why is this important? What are we doing? Do you remember how in bronze I always said, okay, we're like at 150 supply. We're at like 180 supply. Let's go and grab two Marines. And let's go ahead and shift A move, A move, A move, A move, A move. A move, A move, A move, A move. And we were scouting for bases. Remember how I was doing that? Now for Terran, it's already gone. We don't. We still do that for Zerg and Protoss. Because Zerg and Protoss aren't doing medevac drops. But for Terran, it's over now. We're no longer going to go shift A move, A move, A move for Terran. What we're going to do now for Terran is we're going to load up a medevac, like we said. We're going to shift move command, move because medevacs don't have an A move. They're not, they don't have an auto attack. But we're going to oh, move command our medevacs. Yeah along the bases of our opponent, what could potentially be there. We're going to pick, like, it does not matter what side you pick. You're going to do it as well. If you're not currently getting attacked, do it right away when you get Marines, when you get your first medevacs out. Put Marines in it and go start just one medevac as well. Don't be the guy that's like, should I do seven at once? No, don't do that. No, please, for the love of God, don't do that. That is that is something that needs to be microed, and you can throw the game away if you do that. One medevac is not going to throw the game away. One medevac is going to more or less... Be a glorified scout that's going to spot where your opponent's bases are. And then once you spot them, you drop the furthest exposed base first and work your way in. So the way it goes would be, again, you mineral, scout, 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 scout. Let's say you flew over this base. Let's go back to it, actually, when we, when we actually did do that. Watch this. This is a good example of what I mean. 
So we load up our first medevac. Here it goes. We start move commanding it. Uh, I'm showing you guys the marine thingy that where they follow it, and I don't want to do that. Now we actually move command our medevac, and now look at the minimap, okay? For us, look at the minimap for us. There is no base there. I scouted it. Right next to, obviously, there's probably not going to be a base there, but there's we checked it just to make sure, because again, it's a base that is leading from my base to his, that is still unexplored. So I check this base, I check that base, I check this base, and now I'm checking this base. And let's say you didn't react to it right away, okay? Let's say you didn't know that the guy had a base right here right away. And again, do you have to always go to the right first? No. I could have gone here, then there, then there, then there, then there, then there. The only places you can guarantee your opponent is right now is right here, the main base. Why do we know that for sure? Because that's where you start. That's, you literally have to start in the main base. Like The guy doesn't spawn here in the start of a game. He always spawns here. So we know this base exists. We scouted for the natural early in the game. We didn't see one, which is why we built a bunker. So for all we know, this might not exist. Who knows? We don't know yet. We haven't scouted that far uh, it, up to this point in the game. All we're doing is we're scouting for bases along the side of the map. And our first medevac, we chose to go right. And we're going to alternate every time we do this. So the second medevac we do, we can go left. And we're going to do one. We're going to do a medevac about one of these two things every time. We're going to do either about one medevac every minute to 90 seconds. So a little about about a minute per medevac would be totally fine. Or maybe every like minute and a half. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to happen at least a couple times before you actually move out with your real army, which is not going to be that much time between when you start making medevacs between when you max. It's not going to be like 10 minutes. It's going to be like three minutes or maybe four minutes. So first one can go to the right or left. And then the other one, the second one goes to the opposite side. And you go, you just move command along the, the path of where your expansions would be for your opponent, uh, wherever they potentially could be. And then as soon as you realize on the minimap, I just flew over a base. You don't even have to look. You don't even have to look at the base. Just so you know, you don't even have to look at it. Uh, we'll talk more about that later when we start using control groups. But if you don't have a control group, then you do have to look at it. And the easiest way you can look at it is you can just click the minimap where the medevac is. Again, we're not using control groups for our army yet. I'll probably start doing that. In, I mean, I'm going to start doing that in Gold League. We're going to start talking about more about camera hockeys and stuff like that. But again, for silver, we're not worried about it yet. We'll just be like, okay, uh, let's go ahead and click, our, click the minimap where the medevac is because we just saw a base and just go ahead and legit drop our medevac. If you want to, if you want to, you can literally take this medevac and be like, control one. I, so I'm, I'm just going to tell you what we're going to do in Gold League and you can do it right now if you want to as well because uh, I don't want you to feel like you always have to click the minimap because it actually is something we're going to get rid of quickly. It's just something I don't want you to worry about yet. Uh, actually, no, I'll just probably start doing it. I'm trying to justify why I don't give you a control group for it. And it makes like no sense. I'll probably start doing the control group. Okay, so picture this. If you have this medevac on control one, control four is all of our production. Control five is all of our command centers. Let's say we put this one medevac on control one and we gave it this shift rally command. And now let's say I'm looking right here in my base and on the mini map, I go, oh God, we just flew over a base. What I could do. Hey, vibe. What do you think about using camera hotkeys before diamond? I'm going to do that in gold league. Thank you very much. The time space. Appreciate you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know that wasn't supposed to be. A, it sounds people who are watching this on YouTube probably are like, is that a troll? Because he literally just said that. But I know on Twitch, I do. I'm having stream delay on. I'm going to try not to forget the point I was making a second ago. This is another derail here. Sorry, guys. Uh, but thank you for the bits. Time space. Thank you so much, dude. I, I'm running stream delay, so these people can't on Twitch, they can't actually see what I'm saying until like literally almost three minutes later. So that's yeah, that's why it's set up that way. Like uh, it, The reason why I do that is because uh, I don't want to get stream sniped repeatedly throughout the series by people who are, who are just trying to sabotage this. Uh, it helps me like actually have a proper series. But Gold League is when I'm going to start worrying more about camera hockeys and um, so on and so on. So I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll actually start teaching... You, Hi, Vibe. They're nice as shit. Love you for covering the very low leaks in that detail. Little Dono brought to you by the super gay sheep. Greets. <laughs> thank you, dude. Uh, thank you very much, Attila. Thank you so much for all of the B2GM goodness. Cheryl, thank you for the 10. Guys, thank you very much. I, I you know, 
I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get a point out here, and I know that you know people aren't intentionally interrupting. I I totally get it. I, I love you though. The frozen throne. <laughs> Thank you, Chat Uh I'm just gonna try not. The only thing is, I try not to look at the point I'm trying to make previously, and I'm starting. I'm, I'm going to start over. Uh, thank you guys very much for the support. It's super appreciated. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So I am going to teach camera hockey's in Gold League. But for now, I think what I'm going to start doing, I should have done it this game, but it's okay. I'm going to tell you to start doing Control 1 on your medevac. Or whatever number makes you feel comfortable. Okay, because if you like have command centers and barracks on one, uh, you can do Control 3. I don't really care. Just make the medevac something you feel comfortable with, okay? And what you can do, if your camera is like right here looking at your base... You could go like this. Let's say mine's on one, okay? My medevac is on group one. And the way you do that is you click the medevac by itself and go control one. And then it goes medevac in group one. I'll, I'll do it again next game. But you could be like, oh, I just went over a base. You could hit one, hit D for drop. Uh, it's going to have a hockey here for D for unload. It becomes a button once the units are inside the medevac. And then you could go like this. While your camera's still here, you could go D, click on the mineral line of the minimap. Like either right behind it or right on it. Just click right, like D-click where my mouse is right now. Oh, D-click. Yeah. And it will unload Marines into the guy's base right there, and we don't even have to look at it. You could also just double tap, like, and uh, we'll talk more about this in Gold League, but you could also double tap one. If it's on, if your medevac's on group one, you could go one, one. If you double tap it really fast, the camera will go like this. Right to the medevac. It jumps to the unit that's in a group. So... If we did that, you could also, right now looking at the screen, go D click, like right here. Behind the, like if you can drop right behind the middle line, that's perfect. Because the problem with dropping in the middle of the middle line is, if you do that, the only problem is, is that if workers A move you and if there's enough of them, they could actually surround you and kill you. However, if you drop behind the middle line, workers, if they A move you, get stuck in the bottleneck choke points of what the minerals have created. And if your units are blocking the SCVs from getting behind you, it's really hard for the SCVs to properly get a surround on your army and you're suddenly your marines kill way more scvs without getting fully surrounded and they might even they'll probably kill the whole mineral line if he stays here and a moves you so dropping behind the mineral line is so much better than dropping in the very center of it um but again either way it works it's just about applying pressure also with scouting it's the whole point uh that's what we're doing and this is what happened this is what it looks like if you do it okay now let's actually play the game here so why are we so far ahead in supply first of all Let's let's actually no, we'll come back to the medevac thing. We'll, we'll come back to it. I don't want to skip any part of this game really fast because again, this is important, right? We don't want to forget everything we already learned. Don't get tunnel vision on attacking your opponent with medevacs and be like, "That's the only thing that matters." No, 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 no. Everything matters. Because look, look at the supply right now. We're tied. So how the hell before I even medevac dropped him did I end up almost doubling his supply? You know, only a few minutes from now. But right now we're still tied. It's, and these are the reasons why the Speed of Gym series matters, and the reason why is because we expanded, and our opponent went for a gas build. Gas priority versus a mineral priority, which means that is why we're going to probably be the ones who get attacked, like we did. But even though we lose a bunch of SCVs while we get attacked, we still bounce back and recover into this massive lead, because our opponent just doesn't have economy compared to what we have, right? Okay, so... Supplies now, look at that. We were 27 versus 27 a second ago, and now it's 36 versus 30. The reason why that is, is because... Uh, the reason why this is, is because, I mean... We just have more money, right? Why are we Why are we scaling faster than he is? We just have more income. Like, look at this income on the left side. Look at, the, look at that minerals. We're already doubling the minerals. More than doubling the minerals. This is crazy. Okay, keep going. Let's get to the point where he drops me, which is going to be super soon. <coughs> okay, so he dropped. This is why. This is what the build has uh, culminated towards. We've already lost one SCV. I already lost. Like we'll, we'll go right before an SCV died, like two seconds ago or something. So let's get right into when the medevac flies in my base, right now. Okay. So this is what his build has. Uh, culminated towards this is this is the the power point of his build right this is the draw this is where like the sacrificed economy has all led into this point he's down by 16 workers for this for this drop he's also down by 19 supply for this drop this drop is everything right now for this turn player 
Because if this drop does not do damage to equalize the game right now, then it wasn't worth it. And why, why would I say that? Here's why. This guy has... Uh, Total, out of total supply, we have more investment in total supply. He has 39 open. We have 62. So we already have more money spent into the supply depot area of the game. And even though we have that much more investment into supply depots, we still have more money. You should do a series dedicated to trolling in Gold League and call it G to BM. No, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the three, Mike's, Mike Oxenormous. I appreciate it, man, but... Uh, I'm not going to give you a fake answer there and be like, totally. <laughs> Real answer is that's a dickhead thing to do. And I actually don't want to encourage that. Uh, that Because all that does is it discourages people from playing the game. So I'm not actually going to even be like, yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> no. don't do. If you're listening to this world right now, let me just say this to you. If you're listening and you think it would be, if you're like, oh, this seems like it would be fun to play against other league players, don't do it. I don't actually do that at all in like my free time and go, I'm going to play try hard against gold league players. It just kind of ruins their game. Like it, it makes it not fun for lower league players. Like if you, if you actually like a game, you want to incentivize more people to play it and not discourage new players from playing by just shitting all over them every day. So I would, I would suggest not doing that if you actually care about the game at all, because if you do, you're going to like, you're going to make the new player base not have fun at all. And if you don't have fun, you're probably not going to play the game for very long. So it's a dick thing to do. Don't do that. It's fucked up. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll never make a series like that. Uh, but thank you for the, the don't know. And I know that probably wasn't even a serious don't know, but I, or like a serious request. I, I appreciate it, man. Uh, okay, what was I saying? Uh, we're talking about supply and stuff. So again, we're, if we're comparing build to build, right? We have more investment in everything. Like let's look at units. In total units, we have actually managed to make the same amount of Marines as our opponent. We're actually down by one tank, but here's the thing. He's attacking me, right? Like, he doesn't... He's not, like, warping units in my base as Perdos. It's not like he has a pylon right here, and he's like, all right, every unit I build just warps into your base. That's not what's happening right now. What's happening right now is that he has an additional tank over me, but the additional tank is still at his base. It's still sitting here just waiting at his base, right? It's not moving out and why is that because it doesn't spawn across the map in my base it spawns at his base and by the time this medevac has already left his base this tank was probably made after because you can't make everything all at once you have to like timing 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 everything takes time to do this is where a term that you'll hear more as we as we go through the series there's a term called defender's advantage and what that term means is my units that spawn legit spawn directly into the fight if i'm defending my base his units that spawn have to walk across the entire map to get in the fight. That's where defender, Defender's Advantage comes in. My reinforcements can reinforce faster. So, again, we're tied with Marines. I'm down by a tank, but not really because there's no second tank in this fight. Also, I'm down by a medevac. There is a medevac in this fight, and I don't have one, but it's okay because... Remember how we talked about nine Marines? He doesn't actually have nine Marines in this push. It's four Marines with a tank and one medevac. This is not that much supply, Okay. This is a three supply tank, a two supply medevac, and four supply of marines. So in total, this is a nine supply drop. This is not that scary. Uh, and again, we have a lot of supply at home. So he shows up again, and the whole point of me, what I'm like, some of you that I might be, I hope I'm not losing anyone right now if I'm talking about this uh, the way we're we're speaking. But like, if you're like, okay, vibe, I'm scratching my head right now. What's the point of what we're talking about? The point of what we're talking about is, is this build from our opponent is so again gas intensive to do this really fast and the only way it's going to justify that it's worth it is if we can actually if, if if this guy can kill like half of my economy essentially like he needs to kill legit half of my economy yeah i wasn't serious about that suggestion i just wanted to donate <laughs> and say something funny no i know i know my mike oxynormous i appreciate it uh it's just I don't. The only reason why I don't want to joke about it, like, and just be like, "Yeah, it sounds great," is because uh, I don't want someone out there to listen to what I just said. If I did joke about it, it was like that sounds super fun or some shit like that, and they're like, "I'm gonna do that myself now," because it's fuck. It's super fucking lame. It ruins people's gameplay. Uh, but dude, thank you very much for the donut. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I, I I didn't take you seriously. It's all good. I I didn't think you were serious. Uh, but much love, dude. 
So, again, this, this needs to do a shitload of damage, guys. It needs to do a ton of damage to make it even justifiably worth it. This needs to do a crazy amount of damage to make it to make it to the point to where he's ahead in the game. This needs to you know what you know what this needs to do? This one drop needs to kill everything here to make it uh, to give blue an advantage. Like he needs to kill my natural with this because look at his natural. It just started. So if he just kills some workers and runs away, he's going to fall so far behind because my natural's still done and I'm still cranking his CVs like crazy. Yada yada yada. Like I I have lots of advantages here, okay? So again, to make this worthwhile, he needs to kill supply, get my supply down to even with him, and to make this actually a good investment, he needs to actually kill the natural so he can get ahead. Because in StarCraft 2, if you ever do a build that goes, well, I'm going to put myself behind to do an attack, and the only thing I want to get out of this is to even the game out. That's a terrible attack. You don't ever want to do that. Like, that doesn't make any sense, right? Like, that you don't ever want to have a strategy that goes, you can just get ahead of me, and then I'll eventually catch up to you. That sounds awful. What you want to do when you get aggressive in StarCraft 2 is, is you go, okay, I'm going to get myself behind. If you play greedy and I play aggressive, I'm going to get behind early in terms of, like, the way that everything develops, but I'm going to have this really aggressive attack timing that's going to be effective, and I'm going to use that against you, and now somehow put my, I'm going to catapult myself into the lead in this game. Not just break even. I'm going to get myself in the lead <coughs> so that I can mess you up and mess your build over, like fuck your build over while I take the lead. That's what you want to do with aggression, right? That's the goal. And what does that take? A lot of intelligent micro and positioning and things like that, which again is way above Silver League. And we're not there yet. It's, it's, it's way too advanced right now. So th finally, let's just see what this does. Let's see what it does. What does this drop a uh, a culminate towards again what are we doing we're a moving i'm moving my scvs also that was an example right there watch the scvs that was an example of what i was talking about when you drop behind the mineral line it is so awful for scvs to engage now look how bad my scvs are when they fight this they just stack and get aoe'd and killed by like they don't really surround anything <coughs> i mean that didn't feel good right you're like oof that four marine and tank drop definitely did some damage. But look at this. Even though I just lost 12 workers, I'm still eight workers ahead. That's not ideal. Oh, oh my yeah. god, Triforce Trader. Thank you so much for the 50 gifted subs. Holy shit, dude. Triforce, my god, bro. Oh my god. You're so beautiful. You're sexy. You're a real man. Thank you very much for the 50. Holy oh, crap, bro. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Triverse, uh, Triverse is a boss. Uh, I hope you're doing well, man. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to listen to Oh Yes now for the next, like, 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank you, dude. So, again, was this drop worth it? Yeah. I would say no. And why do I say no? He's still down in economy. He's still down in supply. And it's only going to get even further than that. And why is that? And you're like, okay, Vibe, well, how come he just did a lot of damage to you? But why is he going to still keep... Like, why are you... Not, not only why are you still maintaining the lead... But why are you going to keep increasing your lead? Like right now it's 10 supply. Soon it's going to be by 14 supply. Soon then it's going to be by 22 supply. And so on and so on and so on. Why does it keep going up? And the reason why it keeps going up is because, oh, again, this drop yeah. was a massive investment. And what was the the buildup of this game? This drop was everything for his build. This needed to do a lot. Because look at his follow-up. He's not only proxying a command oh, center across the yeah. entire map which gives no ability to really transfer SCVs properly. Like, SCV, if you're like, build SCV, it's like, okay, let's go across the entire map to mine minerals over there. That's awful for mining. Look what my SCVs do. Oh, SCVs ready. Yeah. And it's already mining minerals, right? Because we took our actual natural. So, it our, again, that, the fact that his economy is so delayed is why our lead is going to continue to grow because, again, it's not about this. Oh. Everyone fixates on this when they first play the game. They're like, resources lost. I'm playing more efficient than my opponent. But again, you got to remember, this is only once the entire game. And he's 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 done... Uh, he's actually like almost twice as efficient, right? He's almost oh, been twice as efficient yeah. as me. Uh, in terms of, I've lost 800, he's lost 400. But in terms of income, he's losing this whole game. Like, I would say, for the last, like, couple minutes of this game, and this is every minute, by the way. This is not all game. This is every oh, minute. This is how much we mine yeah. every minute. 
he's already down so much resources where I would say in total, I've already mined. I have already mined, uh, you know, probably like like 6,000 resources this game or so, oh, something like that. Or like 4,000 yeah. resources. Somewhere around there, okay? Somewhere around there. And my opponent has mined like half of what I have mined. So if I have mined, let's say I have mined 5,000. Let's just throw an easy number out there. I have mined 5,000 resources throughout this game so far. My opponent has oh, only mined 2,500. Yeah. So if we take 800 off of 5,000, we're still sitting at a nice, cool 4,200 overall total. And if my opponent's only mined 2,500, even after the loss, I'm still ahead in terms of total gain. And he's down from 2,500 oh, yeah. minus another 400 down to like 2,100. So this is why you gain leads like crazy because this drop did not do enough. It just didn't do enough. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, life oh, alert. Yeah. This is going to happen a little bit later. Yo, life alert. Thank you very much for the dollar dono, dude. Thank you very much for the dollar. And also, holy shit, Doug, thank you as well for the other pack of subs. Thank you very much for the 20 oh, subs as well. My yeah. God. Good Lord. Triforce Trader and Doug. Guys, can we get some Vibu gifts in the chat? I just put some in myself right now. It's Again, there's a little bit of stream delay. But I'm sure when I say this again, I you know if you guys start Vibu gifting, I'll appreciate it. Thank you guys. Like, put the, the emote in the chat. Oh, Thank you very much, Doug yeah. and Triforce Trader. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much for the support. My, my God, you guys are great. Okay, and then, yeah. So, again, that's... We're going to kind of speed up to now. Again, the first game analysis that I'm doing is super long right now as well. Oh, Not every game is going to be like this. Yeah. The reason why this one's so long is because I'm teaching you guys a new uh, a new strategy in here. And I want to make sure you guys understand before you really progress. So we're, we're just maintaining a fat lead because that was not worth it for our opponent. This goes back oh, to what we've already learned in yeah. bronze. And what we're going to continue to do throughout the game, which is efficiency beats non-efficiency. We didn't. We we could have we could have done so much more to fight that attack off in a will in a in a good effective way, and we just aim with our SCVs into oh, death, and we yeah. lost twelve. Yet we're still ahead of him by twenty one SCVs and counting. So it's uh it's kind of nuts. Okay, now finally our our medevac loads, and again the easy way as as we were talking about oh, before we can do this is yeah. we just want to scout along the sides of the map and we want to we want to find bases and when we do. We just drop the base with our medevac, and again, this is what it looks like. And I won't go full into, into the explanation of like how to do it again, because we just already talked about it earlier. So you guys already know oh, that. Yeah. But now here's what it looks like. Our medevac flies over it, and we spot it and go, oh, look. We just flew over an expansion. Do you have to do it right away? No, it's totally fine. If you if you flew over it all the way over here, if you le legit flew to like right there, oh, and you just realized, yeah. oh, God, he's got a base right there. Do not go here. Do not go there. Go back to the base. Always attack outside in for now. Always attack outside in. It makes it harder for your opponent to oh, deal with it. Because yeah. you just ruin their economy if you do that. Now you drop Marines, and now look at this. Look how our Marines drop behind the mineral line. This is really hard for him to attack that. And now what happens? We just killed every SCV. Oh, yeah. And if this medevac were to die, if this medevac were to die, guys, what would it, what would it cost me? It would cost me 10 supply in total. It's not going to make or break the game. It may, oh, I just lost. One medevac of Marines is down. <coughs> it wouldn't do anything. But what it is doing right now is it, it not only scouted where my opponent's bases are, but it also did a lot. Like, we just ruined his little proxy economy. Like, this is great. And now, and now I know for sure that there are no bases on the right side of the map. And also, we haven't touched these Marines once, by the way. I did not micro once. These are all Marines that are just A-moving by themselves. I did not touch any micro here. And now they're dead. Oh, and it's, it look, it's, it's okay. It's totally fine. Look at this supply now. After that drop. We are in such a good position. And now what should we do? Load up a second medevac. Because what ha this is why. Again, you want to do this about once every minute. Or 90 oh, seconds. Yeah. Or you can do it. As soon as your medevac dies, if that happens to be... Like, they're probably going to be about the same thing. They're probably always going to be about the same thing. <coughs> uh, so, oh, yeah. yeah, now we're taking the left side. Same exact concept. Medevac's going on the left side of the, ma of the map here. What are we seeing? We're seeing no base. We're seeing no base. We're seeing no base. 
we're seeing no base. And now that we see that there's no bases, what are we going to do now that we've made it all the way to the base we know 100% exists? Just drop the back of his main mineral line. Fuck it. If the, again, if, it's not about trying to micro either. Please, for the love of God, when I tell you to drop the main mineral line, don't, oh, don't yeah. do this. Don't drop it and go stare at it the whole time and be like, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then you drop and you watch your Marines. And every time a Marine drops, you're trying to stim pack them and do all these things with stim pack. Please don't do that. The reason why I don't want you to do that is because if you do that, oh, you're not going to yeah. macro. You will not macro. So all we're doing is we're scouting. And once we see a base that's the furthest base out, we drop the mineral line. We literally go like this is that's all we're going to do. Now that we know there's no bases here, we go like this. Medivac, drop, oh, click right there. Yeah. D-click right there. That is all we're doing. We're just D-clicking the back of the mineral line. If our medivac flies into a missile turret, so be it. If it flies into 20 marines, so be it. If it flies into four Vikings or like three Thors, so be it. If it drops right here and there's a siege tank right there just pounding the Marines, so be it. I do not want you to micro anything because there's two things that this does for you. <clears throat> Number one, like if you don't micro, that is. Because all you do, what does it do for you? Oh, it, it makes you able to go back and yeah. macro. It frees up your time to macro properly. But here are the benefits it does for you, even if your Marines die, okay? What it does is it keeps your opponent defensive and it keeps your opponent distracted oh, because your opponent's yeah. going, oh my God, there's Marines in my mineral line. I got to kill that. Let's stop that. Let's focus on that. Let's send my army back to kill that and let's not go attack my opponent at this, at this time. The only way they're probably going to attack you is if they're like already oh, right there yeah. by chance and they're already like about to attack you. Then they're like, okay, maybe I'll just commit to the base trade or whatever they feel like. And if they do that, you already have tank siege defensively. Your chances of defending a base trade are insanely high. So, again, please, oh, for the love of God, in yeah. Server League, don't micro the medevac. We're not going to micro the medevac, honestly, until uh, probably, like, maybe in plat, but probably Diamond League. So, if you're silver, it's not time to micro. Because look what happens oh, if we don't micro. All we yeah. do is go D-drop, and now look at my camera. What am I doing with my camera? I'm macroing. I don't give a shit about following the medevac, right? I'm macroing, I'm macroing, I'm macroing. Whatever happens, happens, guys. Now let's go back and watch. The, now let's see what happens, even oh, though I'm not microing. Let's just see what happens. I just said D-click the mineral line. And now watch what happens. I'm not even here. I'm not even actually doing anything. This is all AI. This is like the computer playing the game for me at this point. These Marines just killed half the mineral line and his gas. And we just killed only a couple units that came over here to defend. Now, one of my Marines is aggroed onto the SCVs. Two of my Marines, or three of my Marines are aggroed on the starport, and then four of them are sitting here just doing nothing. And he accidentally loaded his medevac and then dropped right in my face, which is, you know, what? Uh, there's one term for what he just did right there. It's called over micro. You, it's like you touch the units, which makes them worse than if you just a move them. He accidentally loaded the medevac and then walked in. He flew the medevac into my range of auto attack and then dropped units one at a time to die one at a time. He would have been better off if he would have just literally went a move, forget about it. That's why I don't want you to micro. People in silver tend to do shit like this. They tend to, when they touch the units, they actually make them worse oh, than better. Because yeah. you, if you're not comfortable with micro, and you're also not comfortable with macro, chances are you're gonna make a ton more mistakes than what positives. And the AI already does shit pretty decently well by itself. So we kill the tank. And now, this one, again, this one Marine's just killing SCVs, and he decides to throw in the towel, because at this point, he's down to 13 SCVs. This was no micro drops. Now, ultimately, the final thing, the final piece about this, what we're going to do is, we're going to drop, we're going to drop, we're going to drop, we're going to only do drops until we max. And then as soon as we max, then we, with our drops, we should know where the bases are, and we A move towards the bases. We're going to go back to the exact same thing we did in bronze. We're now we're going to full-on oh, attack with our real yeah. army. And that's the whole concept of what we're doing here, okay? So I know that was a long explanation of that game. Probably like that game. That explanation was over like 30 minutes of that game. I don't even know exactly. But uh, yeah, that's the goal. That is the goal. <clears throat> now the rest are going to go a lot faster yeah. because, I mean, the, I just want you guys to really understand what the concept is and not be like confused as like what the hell we're doing. <coughs> Okay. So, oh, same thing again, right? Yeah. Also, uh, Uwala, thank you for the six month resub. And Dungeonizer, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Code AK, thank you for the $3 dono, man. Much love, guys. Doug, thank you for the bits. 
These will all play later after all the subs go through. But thank you guys very much for the support. You guys are beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's going on? Guess we're gonna make a draw, um, a supply depot. <clears throat> we're gonna still try to always wall our ramp and wall our natural. We're still doing that. Yeah. I'm waiting to see Vibe encounter a I build twelve turrets for no reason silver turn. Well, guess what? That, that's fine. If if our play if our opponent this is the kind of guy that's not going to take damage from our one medevac at a time because he builds 12 turrets. Thanks for remaking the B2GM series. Already hit plat with Toss following your guide through Silver 3. Look forward to what's next. Hope this didn't get you distracted tongue. Thank you. Thank you very much again, Life Alert. Thank you, dude. It's totally fine if our opponent makes turrets. And the reason why is because if our opponent sits there turtling on turrets... And he takes a resource loss advantage because we lose a medevac full of marines. And he's like, look at resources lost. I'm winning. I just killed a medevac I'm full of marines. <laughs> it's, remember what I just... I just said the same exact concept earlier in the game when we talked about his first drop. If we throw away like 600... Let's just say like it's 600 minerals worth of stuff in a medevac. And he loses zero for that. But let's say his economy sucks. Because he invested a lot of minerals into turrets really fast, and he doesn't invest into economy properly. I'm still ahead because I'm mining more than the loss. Every, every, I'm mining more every minute, which puts me at a higher peak overall than what I lost that one time. And then if I lose my medevac to a bunch of missile turrets, and I see, oh, this guy has like 10 turrets in his base, I don't have to keep dropping turrets, dropping into the turrets. Like, I don't have to literally. Like, if I throw one unit into a wood chipper, I don't have to be like. Does the wood chipper still exist there? Throw another one in? Uh, does it still exist? Yes, it's still going to exist. It's still there. Right? So, like, we don't have to keep throwing units to their death if we know that he's got a defense there. But again, we're still going to take the lead. The point is, is we're going to still take the lead uh, when, our, when our opponent goes for a bunch of turrets if they decide to do that. That's not going to be a problem for us. Uh, this is where efficiency comes into play. How you start understanding, like, what's more efficient? Throwing away a medevac because it just by chance we happen to do that, but we macroed and we have, like, 100 supply? Or being the guy who's sitting defensively with 20 turrets in his base on, like, 38 supply? If you lose one medevac, you're still crushing that guy. And you're still producing at a faster pace than what he can handle. So definitely worth it to not be the guy who makes 10 turrets. Okay, so we're going to make a second Rax. We're going to make our Tech Lab Factory. <clears throat> Let's make our second Gas. Let's start making our Depots. Make our Tanks. And we're just macroing, macroing, macroing. Okay, let's get our tank siege on the high ground. Keep making SCVs. Let's make a couple more depots. Because uh, we're getting... Oh, actually, no. I, doesn't, we didn't need to do that. But if you do that, fuck it. Who cares? I actually didn't need to do that because I, I had another depot finishing right there at the same time. But it's okay. As long as we're maintaining production out of our buildings as much as possible, again, is all we care about. And we're still doing that. We're still doing it. Because this wasn't that huge of an expense yet. Okay, we got Stimpak started. Let's get our second tank siege. Put it probably like right there. Hold shift and siege it. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go and get our third command center started because we're fully saturated on this base. So we start our third CC. Shift, click the SCV to the middle line. Good stuff. Oh, Dota, yeah. uh, Dota for Shota. Dota for Shota. Thank you for the 11 months and two megabytes. Thank you for the 11 months as well. Thank you guys. 
Complete. Stake our gases that are natural and get ready to start making our engineering bays for upgrades. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's take a depot. Start our medevac. This better be good. Oh, yeah. Start our okay, we're getting attacked by a battle cruiser. So now, A, move my army into the main base. Just A, move the army into the main base. And let's now get ready to make turrets when we can. Keep making SCVs. Gun load our marines out of the bunker and just A, move the, ba the battle cruiser. A, move that shit. We can make a turret. We can make a turret. Forgetting me to Diamond 3 vibe you found. Thank you very much. Uh, all you guys. Uh, Dominix, Dominixix, Domexis, thanks for the bits. I just uh, want Brian to see my name when I watch the videos. Smile. Yeah. Thank you, Code AK. Much love, dude. Okay. Let's get ourselves a... Keep making medevacs, keep making marines. Let's get combat shield. And let's go ahead and get ready to start taking our third base in a second here. We can start our armory as well for our uh, yeah. uh, thingy, our upgrades to continue Thanks past for doing one. Bronze to GM vibe. Thank you. Much love. Okay, so we got eight marines. Let's load up a medevac, right? Now click down on the ground so our marine doesn't follow it. And let's go medevac on the bottom. Click. Just got click back into SC2 and click. in plat one with B2 Contro GM. Thank you, Dota for showing it. Thank you, dude. We're control one our medevac, okay? So I can go like this. One one goes to medevac. Now as soon as I see as soon as I see our opponent's base. Hi vibe. I tried raising canes on a road trip this last weekend after you raved about it, and it's pretty damn good. Thank you, dude. Okay, now let's take SCVs and let's repair this turret. This is why we built turrets. The first time I watched B2GM, I went from Plat 3 to Diamond 2. This year, my goal is Masters. I can't stress enough how amazing this guide is. Keep up the great content vibe. Thank you, dude. Oh, now, look, we're not looking yeah. at his base. We just dropped behind the middle line with our medevac drop, okay? Research. Thank you very much, uh, guys, for the, the support. Sorry, I'm uh, super distracted. Thank you, thank you. Base is under attack. Okay, he killed my armory, so we need to build a new one. Keep making SCVs. Keep making SCVs and drop mules. We can make another command center while we're at it. Terry Lynn, thank you very much for the tier 355. Good God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hope you're doing well. Okay, now let's grab another medevac. Load up Marines in that medevac. Go top. Click, 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 click. So we're they will control one again for the new medevac because my last one just died. So we're checking the other side of the map now, and we know for sure he has no bases on the bottom side. Make some more depots. Okay, he's still here. So if, if he's still here, you know we'll be dealing with that in just a second. It's okay. Make more depots somewhere else. Also, we can start making Thors because why? He's going air units. We'll just make a couple Thors. Again, we're, we're using our factory as a support building right now. Okay, so look at look at the mini map, right? Look at the mini map. We just got our medevac there, and we haven't seen anything yet, right? So now we're taking our time. Our medevac's chilling at that base. Let's now go. Hey, medevac, drop this base right here. Just go drop that base. Add on complete. Keep making marines. Can make a couple more depots. Yeah, Let's get this tank siege like right there. These Marines. Get this tank siege like right here. Hold shift and siege it. Okay, let's say, hey, go kill that battle cruiser. Let's get another base going. This is again, why are we doing that? We're fully saturated. We're still not at the proper SCV count we want yet, and our SCV count's still growing. So we need more SCVs, or more uh, command centers to do this properly. <coughs> okay, our medevac died, so what are I going to do now? 
We're going to take another medevac full of marines. We're going to control one on it. And go click, click. We're going to click the outer bases first. And if we see nothing, we're then going to drop the natural. Make this a planetary. Make a turret. <clears throat> and like, am I freaking out right now about the fact that there's a battle cruiser over here somewhere? I don't care. It is what it is. It's it's okay. What I care about more is I care about proper macro. Like actually macroing fluently. Not enough minerals. Okay, and now look, there's a base. So we're gonna do one drop that base right there. Drop that base, uh, medevac. Making, making medevacs, making a Thor again. And now we have a bunch of extra SCVs here, so let's take another base. Where's this? Okay, this commits right here. Let's lift off this command center. <clears throat> let's put it, like, over here. Take this SCV, build a turret for it, and then grab a bunch of extra SCVs and go over there with it. We just grabbed all but... We grabbed 10, because it was 26 out of 16. We grabbed 10 off. How many SCVs do we need? We need two more, and then we're done. So, we have two more SCVs coming to finish off up to our good amount. And we can still keep making expansions, but we're good at least on SCVs. Now, we can tell our medevac... Our medevac is done. So, now we're maxed out. Now, we don't drop anymore, guys. We're maxed after all these little attacks that happened to us early on. So, let's get rid of this bunker as well, just because it kind of blocks my base a bit. We don't need it. Now... Oh, there he is. Okay. So, let's A-move him and then step back towards him. A-move and step back towards him. How many SCVs we got? We need a couple more, because a couple of them died just now. Okay, keep making units. Three three upgrades. Okay, we killed his army. So now, now that we know where his bases are, let's aim move our army right to here, okay? Aim move right here. And why are we doing that? Because we saw, a, well, you know what, this base might be dead. We might have killed it, right? Uh, just to throw a tip out there, I'm gonna throw you tip, a tip really fast to you guys. If you actually see a Terran's building that's floating, and you see it on, like if you saw a command center that's in the air, it would be like a command center sitting there just like that. But if it's in the air while you're looking at it and you go away, it'll disappear off the screen because if it's not landed, it doesn't actually count as a structure that's permanently there on the screen. It counts more like a unit when it's floating and it doesn't permanently stay there. So let's go here. Whatever. It doesn't doesn't matter. It's just still this is still an exposed base. So we're gonna go like this. We're here. A move, stim pack. Okay, our army got stupid. I'll let it happen, we'll explain why after. It's because there's a wall. But it is what it is. Just let it happen. Again, we should be focusing on our macro. Is our macro good? Make that a planetary. Make that a planetary. Make that a turret. And look at my production. We're at eight buildings. Factory. Starport. Racks. 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 Uh, come over here. Racks. 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 Barracks. Okay, uh, come over here, make like maybe a three more. Racks, racks, racks. Okay, take our army again. This time we're gonna aim move here and stim pack. Because there's a wall again. Okay, now let's grab all those buildings we just made. Grab them all, grab them all. Get all the buildings we just made. Shift four, now we're at 23. Awesome. We're ready for big fat remaxes. Let's fix our, fix our economy anywhere that's looking not great. Send some SVs over here. Uh, the space is good. Let's make a reactor on the starport. A tech lab on the factory because we want to be able to make Thors. SVs are getting attacked. Okay. So our next round of units can go defend that. It's okay. It is what it is. We can take our army as well up here. Okay. And we can go A move, like A move into the base. And just let it happen. Okay, we can go back and make four tech labs. We can make a bunch of reactors. And then go back into making Thors, Medivacs, and Marines. And we're still maxed out. Now we can take our army up here. Okay, so now since we have army here and we have army there, let's actually just green box this really fast. Or you can... We'll do... Oh, again, we're going to do control groups some more later. But we can green box this army and go A move here. Shift A move there. Stim pack. Come back to this base. And this army's already automatically fighting the... The battle cruiser, it's awesome, right? It, great. They kind of did their own thing and they, they did a great job at it. So all we wanted to do, all we wanted to do was, 
I do still, I'm still trying to do like select all army. Just j again, we're, we're going to probably ditch the select all army feature once we get mostly into server league. Because we're going to start using camera hockeys once I teach you guys these things. But I, again, I don't want to do it yet because I think it's a bit much to learn all this shit at once. But there, there was an idea right there. I just want to explain the idea of what just happened. Okay? I just want to explain the concept. So, if these battlecruisers did not show up into my base, I could have selected an army and went attack, attack, attack. But because they did, because he went for a base trade counterattack maneuver, he's like, I'm going to base trade. Yeah. What we can do is all my rally points in my buildings are in my base still. As you can see, they're all like in front of my natural. Oh, yeah. Blue Raider, thank you very much for the uh, 713 sub. Thank you. Thanks for doing B2GM again. Love you, man. I love you too, dude. Thank you very much for uh, supporting the stream. I wouldn't be able to make it without people doing that. So, uh, Hawk, R, Hawk, R, Har 1X, thank you as well for the nine month resub, dude. Uh, appreciate all you guys that sub and support the stream in any way. Uh, even if you just watch it, like on YouTube or anything, you guys are still supporting it. Thank you for allowing me to keep doing this kind of stuff. So, I, I mean, I like making content. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do it if you guys didn't support it. So, much love to all of you guys too. Uh, but yeah, so now, <clears throat> as we can see, this is, an, the, anyone who notices, this is kind of painful, right? You're like, oh my god, 3-3 three, three is so close to finishing, and it's going to die. Now, if this was like Masters League, I would definitely have more of a priority to go save that, but it's okay. Uh, if it dies, who gives a fuck, right? It's like, it's not, again, we'll just remake it. It's not like it never can be remade. So what we're doing, because he went for a counterattack maneuver, and I my army up here is under no stress at all, I can just go, okay, green box this army. Just green box it really fast. Click the screen and green box it. A move, A move like we normally were before. And then over here, I can green box this and A move towards the BCs. That's all we could really, like, you know, we could easily do that to fix this without going select all army, kill BCs, select all army, kill Terran's main base. Because if we did that while this is happening, it would make my main army that's attacking him either come home or it would make, if I did the, this attack first, if I told Sectal Army go to his base first, <coughs> it would make me have no defense for the BCs. Another game won by a superior economy. <coughs> make workers. That's right. But my Thor actually ends up shooting the Battlecruiser, which aggroes it, because Thor has super long range. And now, you know, my Marines fight it with the Thor. Awesome. And look, no micro, we'd kill that. And then no micro up here, and we're killing this. We do a stim pack, though. We, we initiate an A move with a stim pack, and we're, we're, we're killing them, right? So, I mean, that's how it goes there. But now let's see. Let's Last thing we're going to look at is just really quickly. Now, we're not going to go too deep into this. We're just going to look at when the Battlecruiser came to my base. And a lot of people freak out, right? I just want to, I just want to again, try to convince you that macro is superior. Let's watch this. Battlecruiser teleports to my base. Right now, this thing has 10 kills. He's already killed five workers and five marines, and counting. And this last marine legit double KOs, double KOs the BC. Look at this. Look at my marines, guys. Right now, I only have one marine here. Uh, you know, Celtic Sailor, thank you for the two month resub. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I only have one marine left right now, right? This guy right here. And he shoots the battlecruiser, and he blows up the battlecruiser, and there's a projectile still flying in his face, and another one that's about to hit his face, because battlecruisers shoot really fast. And he dies to the, to the projectiles, which double KOs the Marine and the battlecruiser, and they both die at the same time. And before that battlecruiser died, he killed a total of 23 units, which was 5 SCVs and uh, 18 Marines. Right there, because the last one dies after the BC dies. So 18 Marines and 5 SCVs died. That's a lot of fucking unit death. How much resources lost? I have definitely lost more than he has. That battlecruiser definitely paid for itself, right? That's what you'd think. You'd be like, well, battlecruiser seems like good investment because battlecruiser killed more than battlecruiser costs. That's good, right? Yes, that was a, that was a good trade for the battlecruiser. It definitely killed a lot. But it's not a good trade if it comes at the cost of your economy, which is not a good trade. Is this the brunch to Granny Master I keep hearing about? Yes. 
Thank you very much, Drizzle, for the welcome to the brunch. Get your little uh, teacup and take a seat. Thank you very much, dude. So like, uh, even though I just lost uh, 500 more resources than he did there, or oh, like 450, he's losing more than that a minute. More, he's losing more than that every single minute. He's lo he's actually losing around this uh, 1100 resources a minute over what I'm losing. Like he's he's falling behind that much per minute. And why is that happening? Because this build was a gas priority that went for a really fast battle cruiser and went into a really late expansion. This is his natural. Look at our natural. It's fully saturated. So I can lose a little bit more resources here than he does and capitalize on these fat supply leads because we have more economy. I lost five workers there and yet I'm still ahead by 18. And now we're tied. Now I'm up. Now I'm ahead by 20. Sorry, we're not tied. I'm up by 20. So on and so on. Now 22, because we're making SUVs at a faster pace. So, yeah. I mean, and then another battle cruiser comes. And what happens with this one? All we do is we repair a turret. So that's another tactic right there we haven't really talked about yet. It's actually We're actually going to start slowly doing a little bit of defense here with our mineral lines. If you get a unit in your base, you can legit just surround the turret and repair it. You can just like spam right-click the turret. Like click the turret and all your SCVs will be told, let's all go repair that. Uh, oh, <laughs> you can also yeah. R-click it, like hit R then click it, which is re repair click, repair click. But if you tell an SCV to right-click a building when it's damaged, it should repair it. I'm not, I'm not wrong on that, right? I'm pretty sure I'm right on that. For some reason, I feel like I'm wrong. I'm going to test that right now. Or I'll test it next game. It's okay. I'll test it next game. I don't want to fuck up the replay pack. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you get the point, right? Economy is better than no, no economy. That's the whole point. We don't have to go into an hour explanation about that. Economy beats no economy. Dr. Bone Music, thank you for the sub. Thanks, man. Does anybody at Silver say GG? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Uh, I think the GG thing... I, I used to care a lot about the GG thing when it was, like, pro level. But nowadays, I mean, it's whatever. People just do whatever they want to do. It's, you play by your own terms. It's Horix Smiles anyways. Thanks for B2GM and allowing Father of 3 to 5 SD up to Platinum and crawling up every <coughs> time girls are sleeping. Love you. Yo, thank you very much, Horix. Uh, that's awesome to hear, man. I'm glad you're uh, you're still able to find time to game, even though you got a family going on. And I'm glad the series is helping you, <laughs> helping you do it in an efficient way, dude. <coughs> Much love, man. Thank you, thank you for the elite dono, my man. Additional supply depots required. Okay, so we're gonna make our uh, deep our barracks. We're gonna make pair this with a gas. Not enough minerals. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna scout with this SCV once he's done building the barracks. Click the mineral line, hold shift, click your own mineral line at the natural, both naturals. Build our orbital command, and then make sure our command center is rallied on the mineral line. If you told it to rally, so the SCV could pop out that side and said like I just did. And then build our command center. Right click the mineral line with your SCV. While he's building the command center, you can hold shift and do it. Make sure he's going to mine minerals after he's done building the CC. Grab the CC and put it in group 5. Start making marines. Command center upgrade complete. Make another depot. So we're not going to supply block while we make marines right now. And our opponent doesn't have a natural. So what are we going to do? We're going to come up with that SC... How do I know that? I'm looking at the mini-map. I don't have to look at the actual base to know that. I just see no buildings there. So no natural right now. So if there's, if there's no natural, let's make a bunker. Because if this guy attacks us, we don't want to die. Let's make our factory. Group 4 that bad boy. Ready. 
Let's make our reactor. Let's make our bunker. Let's not build it right next to the ramp. That way we don't mess up the depot wall. Just build it in front of the ramp to a degree. We, we need to have depots going like there, there, there. So we built it a little bit away, a, a few grid spots away from the ramp, but still able to cover the ramp. Because the Marine's attack radius is going to be like that long. Like they're going to be able to shoot the ramp pretty easy. Okay. Now let's tell this SCV to go. Uh, actually, tell this SCV to start mining uh, or to start building depots after he's done with that. Grab this guy and make him build another racks. Grab one of these dudes and tell him to make a gas. Load Marines into the barracks, bunker, build depots, make Marines, get ready to make tanks. Re-rally the main to the natural because we're fully saturated and those two SCVs are going to be the excess is going to go on that gas. So now we're rallied there properly. Drop some mules because we have excess, we have mule energy to spare. All these kinds of things. All these kinds of things. <clears throat> okay. What's going on? <coughs> Um, uh, what is my mouse sensitivity? Just check my... I have a vi I did a video on it already. Check my uh, intro to B2GM for 2021. I talk all about mouse sensitivity there. Also, I'm not playing only Terran today. I will be doing another race after this, guys. So, people are already freaking out in the chat. Chat is very... Chat's a very fickle place. You guys freak out about a lot of things. <laughs> you guys are angry. A lot of times when I read chat, it's always someone complaining about something. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make some marines. Keep making our depot wall. All right, sorry, our first tank should be on the high ground. Whoops, I messed that up. Let's go put it on the high ground. Let's make a reactor for the starport. Put the tank up here, lift the depot. Cool, now we can lower the depot and not have to worry about lifting it again. Make Marines and tank. Let's put our second tank like over here and shift to siege it. Let's make another command center because we're fully saturated on that base. Make our tank and make our medevac. <clears throat> Not enough minerals. Dun, 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 dun. Make a couple more, make a couple engineering bays now for upgrades, and let's maybe make another couple depots because I'm getting close to supply blocking here. Hold shift, tell them to mine patches after. Put these guys on gas. Keep making marines. Four or five, four or five, four or five, all that jazz. Insufficient best being gas. Now let's tell, uh, let's, we're done making tanks now. We have like three and three feels good because we haven't been attacked yet. So I feel fine. I don't feel like we need a fourth. Take this medevac, fill it up, right click the ground. Let's go left this time. Click the mineral patches. All the way up to the natural. So we did all the expansions first. C control one on this medevac so we can go one, one if we need to. Or it can go one and tell it to do anything on the minimap through controls on the minimap. Now let's keep an eyeball on the minimap while we macro. So keep making marines. Start upgrades. Let's start more racks. Make an orbital command. We have too much money right now, so we need more racks. Let's make like four more racks. Racks, racks. And we now know two of the bases above our main have not been expanded to because now a third one, now a fourth one. And how do I know that? I just looked at the mini-map and I see that things are revealed and nothing's there, so he's not there. Easy peasy. Okay, keep making units. Don't stop macroing. Okay, so there's nothing there at all. So now off the mini map, let's drop near the mineral line right there, okay? I'm clicking right there. Just drop the medevac at that mineral line. And whatever happens, happens. I don't care. It's not what's important right now. What's important is our third base, getting that set up properly. Not worrying about our drop. Send a bunch of SCVs to our third as well. Keep making marines. Let's make all reactors on these new racks we just made as well. Let's keep our production rolling really well. Let's get an armory for these upgrades because... They're almost halfway, and they're going to finish soon. So we need to have 2-2 started. Okay, let's load up another medevac. Let's do the other side of the map now. Mineral line. Mineral line. Mineral line. Mineral line. Control 1. Awesome. 
We're just waiting for uh, units to arrive. Drop some mules at this base. And we need another command center because this one's getting really close to full saturation. Like, we have a lot more SUVs on their way to this base right now, so. Oh, look, we found a base, guys. Dropping that mineral line, right? Fuck, drop that shit right there. This guy's proxied a base on us. Oh my god. And we found it. Yeah, let's start getting 2 2 here pretty soon. Get vehicle weapons level 1. And get 2 2 started really quick. Right after, when it's done. So 2 2 is like done right now. Or 1 1's done, so now 2 2 starts. Okay, let's get another gas is going here because we're fully saturated. Get some more depots as well. Okay, shift, click the mineral line. And now load up another medevac. And let's drop again. Control 1, drop there. Why am I doing that? Because it died. And I'm not actually going to move out my whole army right now because I'm not maxed. But we're getting closer and closer to max. We're, we're definitely going up at a pretty fast pace here. Let's grab this base up here with some new SUVs because this command center can take it. Re rally my command centers to that location as well. Okay, what's going on over here? Okay. So he's going air units, right? So if I if I happen to spot that, great. If I don't happen to spot that, whatever. It's not the end of the world. But since he's, since I did spot he's going air units, okay, well now I uh, now I know he's going air units. And it seems like at this point the I've sent two drops here now and the base is still not dying, so it seems like it's not going to die. So we're really close to maxing as it is anyways. Let's just go ahead and max and then go push that base first. Rather than, remember what I said about the turret thing a minute ago, where it's like, I'm not going to fly repeatedly into death, into death, into death, into death. Well, this base has no static D, but two drops in a row have died there, so it seems like a third one's probably going to die as well. Like, it doesn't seem like he's going to break. But we're so close to max, like, it doesn't take that long to max. We're so close to maxing as it is that we're going to be attacking him really soon either, either way. So we're just about there. We're just holding down our, like, 4 or 5, 4 or 5, SCV count, almost done. Our Marine count, looking great. Everything's looking solid right now in terms of our macro. Okay, let's go ahead and drop some mules here. Let's take another base because this base is fully saturated. Okay, SCV counts to 80 plus, this is looking great. Now let's get rid of our bunker, grab our army, we can go, like, control 1 with it. Let's A-move right here. A move right there, so we can get just outside this base, just outside that base. So we're gonna a move that base as well in a moment when when we're actually ready to go. Okay, let's grab some CVs and put them to a new base. <coughs> right click all my commanders to this new base because it's, again it's a new base. Weapons, weapons and armor for upgrades. So level two vehicle, level three three bio, and now our army is over here. So let's take our army, a move, stim pack. And we're just trying to kill that base now. So now we're really committed to killing that base. We can start another command center while we're at it. Because again, we still want to keep expanding. And now let's make our way through the rest of the maps. Leading up towards his main base from the right side. Because we're already on the right side. So now let's A-move. We, we can even scan now too. So if we don't have a scout, we can go like this. Are there bases between main and, and his... Like in these two air base area? Is there a base there? Yes. Is there a base there? No. So now let's take our army and A-move right here, like right here. Get it grouped up just before that base, and we're going to stem that base down. Because who knows, he might have a defense there when we get there. We want to make sure that if he does, that we're not unprepared. Upgrades are looking good. Look at our money, though. Look at our production. Not good. Let's fix that. Factory, starport. Make a bunch more racks. Racks, 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 racks. Look at my army for a second. My army's ready to go. So we don't have to look at the screen where the army is. Select the army, A click, stim pack. And why can we do that? Because we're not getting counterattacked at the same time. So I didn't have to like separate my armies to be like, okay, maybe I shouldn't select all army here or whatever. And I'm still macroing at the same time. I'm still macroing. Now let's go ahead and select my unit, my buildings here. Shift four. Select my buildings over here. Shift four. These buildings, shift four. Now we're at 22 buildings. Great. Move this command center over. Start another command center. Hold shift, mind the mineral line. And tell my army now to group up in front of his uh, in front of his other base. Okay, he's got an army there. We'll step back and leave. I didn't even see that. Okay. 
So we started a uh, tech lab on the factory. We started a reactor on the racks or on, on the on the starport. Mini and uh, we can make four tech labs here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that one's off a little bit. And then make all reactors now on the rest of my racks. Complete. So all my buildings just made an add-on. Awesome. SCV count looking good. We just need to make sure they're mining well. We can make units, make a couple Thors, make some medevacs, make some marines. And we can max out again in seconds, and so on and so on. And again, now this time we'll just uh, we'll just uh, speed through this one again. Because, again, the concepts are always the same, right? The concepts are always the same. We're just macroing like we did in Bronze League, and now in Silver League we're starting to... Uh, in mid, the middle of Silver League. I was going to do it in gold, but again, we're doing it a little bit faster now because I feel like it, this needs to happen now instead of later. Bio is way too unforgiving if you just sit there. Um, but yeah, so now we're starting to add in the one medevac scout in our build. That's all we're doing. That's the only thing we've really done. Add in the medevac scout. Everything's the same otherwise. Times eight. Now let's watch our medevac. It goes up. It flies. It flies. It flies. It flies. It scouts all the bases. There's no bases. And finally, we get here and we go, okay, nothing's all the way to his natural. So let's go ahead and hit the main base. And this is what it looks like by the time this is the first time anything's happening in this game, okay? Now, what's happening? We're about tied on supply. He's macroing pretty well. Uh, he's got more SCVs than I have, or more probes than I have SCVs. And he's got three more supply than I do in total. I will say right now that this is pretty standard for Protoss to have a little bit more supply than Terran because uh, Terran just scales at a faster pace than Terran does with Chrono Boost and all that stuff. But this looks pretty normal. Neither one of us is playing poorly right now, up to this point. Like, he's definitely not the kind of guy that's like, I'm going for a gas priority, and I'm just fucking my economy up. No, he took three bases really fast. So, he's got a fully saturated third before I do. This was super greedy, actually. This was very greedy and vulnerable, and we didn't punish him for it. So, here's the thing, right? Think about it like this. This guy has, like, no units for defense up until this point. He had really nothing. And if we would have all in him or something, he would have probably died. At least our build is safe. So if he attacked us with the, with like these units, we would not die. But it's really just hoping that we don't figure out what he's doing until it's too late, essentially, is what his build is designed on. And even though he's playing that way, we're still keeping up with him pretty well. So the point is, is like you can still play somewhat safe and be very efficient with it, right? That's what I'm trying to make. You don't have to always play like no unit, only fucking economy to like actually play economical. Anyways, the drop gets here. We're about even. And what happens? We don't micro this at all. We don't even know he's going Void Rays the first time. I don't even know what his units are because we didn't look at it. And look at the supply now. Look at the look, Let's look at the economy. What just happened there? We just evened up the economy by killing nine workers. We didn't even micro that. It just was a scout. We, we really just figured out he doesn't have any bases on the left side of the map. And we just killed some probes in the process as well. That's great. So, Awesome. We even up the economy, and uh, now it's three base versus three base, essentially, because now we have our third setting up at our third base. Now, what happens next? We do the next drop, because we go to the other side of the map, and now we actually spot the proxy. And we go, oh, look, guys, there's a fucking proxy here. So what do we do? We actually drop our Marines behind the middle line. And what does this do? We just kill so many probes here. He recalls. The Void Rays come in. We actually manage to kill a Void. And then our Marines and our Medivac die. And now look at the supply. We've actually taken supply lead. And we've taken a massive economy lead. And the reason why is because you make your opponent play defensive and distracted. And here's why not only have we killed more workers than, than he has. Or he's killed zero. We've killed 24. But I was... Guys, think about it like this. Prodos can make workers faster than Terran can. And if he if you re-put 24 workers back on to what was dead there, he would have 69. Okay. So if he was making workers the whole time while I killed them, there's a there, there, our economies should look a lot more close together, closer together than they are. But here's what I would say happened, okay? Watch this. This is why I say distracted is a great tool to have here while we go bio. For your like if your opponent to be distracted. Watch our opponent's production of probes. It is crazy. This is before anything died. His probe production is nuts. He does a really good job of producing probes a lot. He's like, probes, 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 probes. Tons of probes, tons of probes, tons of probes. Now watch this. This pro Watch the probes disappear now for a little while.
Now, probes will start again, I imagine. They'll probably start up again. Probes, where are they? Let's see the probes. Like one round, there we go. And now watch the probes get ready to disappear again. In about five, four, three, two, one. Probes will stop again right about now. So this is probably the last probe. Uh, how many does he have queued up? Okay, there's one more queued up there. But also, two of his Nexus aren't even building probes. One of them is building a mothership, and one of them is building nothing. So he's making one probe at a time off of three Nexus, right? And he's this is not what I would call the most economical version of this anymore. And now, what, look at the probes. Is this ne when is this Nexus going to build probes here? It's not. Is this Nexus... There we go. Now he started probes. So it's a lot of times what will happen is is when you distract your opponent, they just like start like getting overwhelmed and fall behind. And I, I don't invest any time into this. This is such an easy attack to do. Because again, I'm not microing it. No micro. And then we try again one more time because the medevac died. And we want to... Why are we going to the same place we just went? Because we know he has an exposed base there. And I want to hit it again just to see if we can kill it. I just want to see if we can kill the base the second time around because it's so far exposed. So what happens at the second drop? And I, I don't really watch this. I don't really micro this. We just drop our shit at it. And this time, our Marines get completely destroyed. He focuses, fi he focus fires my medevac and all that kind of stuff. We actually kill the Void Ray. So it wasn't the worst attack. But our medevac's dead again. So now we've sent out three drops. Uh, up to this point, we've killed, we've done whatever we needed to do. Like, we've scouted where we want to go, essentially. We're like, okay, well, now I have an idea of when I actually do max out. I know where I want to attack you. I'm going to attack you down here because I want to kill that base. And we're not that far off of maxing out. So I wouldn't say at this point now, it's like, you got to keep dropping, 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 dropping. We got what we needed. We saw nothing on the left side. We saw something on the right side. And we also attempted drops like three times. I would say, on average, if you can attempt up to three drops before you max out, you're doing a great job. Uh, because uh, later on, it's not going to be... So here's how this goes as well, as you grow as a player. It's not about doing... Uh, so what if I could squeeze in like seven drops, Vibe? What if I could do like nine drops? It's not a really so much about that when you grow as a player in terms of skill. It's more about maintaining your drops when you get higher level players so like your first drop lasts longer you lift up and fly away your second drop lifts up and flies away and it comes back and it goes it leaves and it comes back and it leaves that's what it becomes later on it's about salvaging and maintaining your army as long as possible while being annoying but for now again we're not microing so we're just sending it over there and dying and once we do like three drops we've we've discovered okay on this side of the map this is his furthest out base on this side of the map this is his furthest out base He's clearly killing my medevacs repeatedly now. So now that we know where we want to attack, that's all we need to know. We have a game, of, we have a, a plan of action to attack now. We don't need to keep throwing away supply with medevacs at this point. <coughs> that's all we need. So three medevacs is a good number to stop at if you're just not really sure what to do. Three is good. And then now we max out, and this is what it goes like when we max out. And now we were down in supply earlier, guys, by a little bit. And now look at us. We're maxing out like crazy, crazy fast. And here's how the army looks when we get to his base. We show up here and we stim pack a move. And we just obliterate his army right there in seconds. Everything's dead, this base is dead. This is where we scan to see the new bases between where we just were. And we go, okay, there's a base there. Let's stop right here. Once we group up, now we a move. And the reason why we always stop before we go into the base is so our army doesn't get dislocated and have Thor's way behind Marines in the middle and Medivac's way in, for way in the front because these units have different move speeds. So now our army's grouped up, and we aim move everything with a stim pack on this base. And now there you go. And now we scanned it. We scanned that, and we knew there wasn't a base there. So now we're aim moving towards like right here, the front of the natural. And when we aim move there, we actually managed to. We just happened to encounter his army in the, in the process. And then we uh, we didn't scan or anything like that. We just let it happen. We just stim pack aim moved towards this location. And whatever happens here happens. So, for instance, if you go back to my vision, this is what it looks like with our army. Again, a lot of people would look at this and go, I really need to make sure I scan that. And yeah, you do eventually. Like, that'll come later. But even if I lost this army, we would still have a great chance to win the game through macro. Because, again, it's about macro. It's not about distracting yourself. So this is what the fight looked like for us. This mothership looks, moves back a little bit. Some of the voiders get out of the cloak. 
This guy's microing his heart out right there, right? He's microing his heart out, trying to not die, trying to not lose the mothership, and then trying to maximize the army as much as possible. And even though we didn't even look at the fight, we still won the fight. We did zero micro. We, we literally A moved and won that fight. And it's because we had a supply advantage because we were macroing like a god the entire game. Like, as, as, as good as we can. Again, I think Silver can handle it. I'm not saying Silver can't handle this, guys. We're playing at fucking 80 APM right now. 70 APM. Or 80. And a lot of our APM as well. Here's the here's the crazy thing. I'm not genuinely playing at like 80 APM going like this. Like... A lot of the APM literally comes from this. Four, five, four, five, five. Make it SCV, 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 SCV. Four, Marine. Hold down A key. You like, when you just hit four, hold A. Just two actions, four A. That's like right there. Your APM would go up to like 300 for a second. Because... Hitting the group four is an action, and then holding down A is going like this. I just did how many? How many? How, count how many A's that is. One, two, three, four, five. Blah blah blah. Probably like thirty A's. I'm gonna estimate it and say that's probably like thirty A's. And how many? How fast did I put thirty A's into the keyboard? In about one second. I could do it again. One. One. Two. Now, if the game calculates how fast. This is going, and it goes, okay, how many times could you do that a minute now? Your APM would be like, it'll, it's going to calculate your APM being like 1,000 APM or some shit. You know what I mean? That's why your APM is so spiky as well, because all you're doing is you're macroing, and we're making units out of 20 production facilities. So our APM is definitely spiky, 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 spiky. That's where it, you know, it's not even like a real, like, I'm playing like, 80 APM, like I'm doing 80 individual actions over and over every time. It's it's just macroing a lot. It's not 80 APM of micro. It's just 80 APM of holding down the button for macro. Okay, we got a Zerg player. Same thing again. Doesn't matter what race it is. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to drop the mineral lines, boys, and we're going to go from there. Alright then. Okay. Also, just so you guys know, uh, this is for you Twitch, not YouTube, for a second. Twitch people, guys, I'm gonna do Zerg after this. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Zerg after Terran, but I'm not gonna do Protoss today. I'm sorry. This is, this is already taking way too long. I, I can't stream today for like 15 hours, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna do Zerg after this, and then so anyone who's here for Protoss, I don't want to make you wait and then disappoint you. I was thinking I might be able to do it today, but I definitely can't with how long this is taking. So, uh, Protoss tomorrow. With some, we'll do Protoss with something else tomorrow. Maybe Protoss Zerg or Protoss Terran tomorrow. But today is just going to be Terran Zerg. Okay? But Zerg players who want to see, see, see Zerg stuff, I will do Zerg after this. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, let's make our marine, make our orbital, get ready to make our command center. And now we're going to take this SCV. Mineral line, shift, mineral line. Awesome. Let's make another depot. Take a mule, drop. And now look, our opponent has a natural. We don't need to freak out. We don't need to be like, oh my god, we need a bunker. We don't need a bunker now. We're okay. If this guy attacks us, I'm not going to say it's a, you're impossible to die now. I mean, if this guy pulled drones or something, we could still die. But chances are, we're not going to die. Again, there, you can never say there's a guarantee in StarCraft because you never know what your opponent's going to do exactly. 
There's always variants. But I feel pretty confident that we'll be okay if I don't take a bunker. I feel like it'll be just fine. Okay, my SCV actually died. It didn't actually get to come home. It died first. So let's start making depots now with a new SCV. Because <clears throat> we do want to get a depot wall here. And the, the SCV coming back should be the one doing that, but he's dead now. So it's okay. Group my Marines up on the ramp and like put my rally point over here. You could also do it right here. You could also do it right there, right there. Is anywhere really. Let's make our second gas and let's drop another mule. We could also kill that overlord. So let's just do that. The overlord's in my base. A move the overlord. Don't fucking stare at it. If my Marines happen to kill it, awesome. If they don't kill it, don't tunnel vision and like watch it and be like, I need, I need to know if it dies. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal right now. If you kill it, cool. If you don't kill it, who cares? You're not going to like meta the Zerg or something with, with, with that concept. You're not going to be like, well, now I'm going to show him something that looks weird. Like, no. He won't even know how to read it anyways if you do that. It's not a priority. It's just going to distract you if you fixate on it. Okay, so first tank's about out. We're, we're getting ready to start our starport as well in a second. Keep making Marines. First tank, let's put it on the high ground. Right there. <clears throat> Make our starport. Keep making marines. Keep making our depot wall. Group our boys up in front of the wall. Or like not in front of it, sorry. Like right behind it is what I meant to say. Insufficient. Okay, let's make another t tank or make our tank siege like right here against the wall. Nice tank with the vision we have. It's really nice on the top side here. It's really close to the, the vision side. So our tank's in a really secure location. It's not going to die e easily. Okay. My money's getting a little high. It's getting hard to spend my money a little bit. So, And also I'm getting high in the natural, so let's get ready to expand again. Let's go throw down another command center. Up here. We got a third tank now. Let's put our third tank back right here. Or we could put it over there, but let's just put it right here. Screw it. It's all good. Does not matter what side you put it on. Just, again, concept of the white lines get close to the edge of the vision uh, on the depot side. So, like, this is, like, right there. It's really nice. Again, we don't want to be too close to the wall. We don't want to be too far away from the wall. You just want to have your, your tank max range to be close to the vision. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you for the sub, David. Much love, dude. Let's get our de let's get our engineering base. Let's also build like four more racks. Let's also build some more depots because uh, we're getting close to survive blocking. Much love, vibe is our guru. Yo, Klarkovic. Thank you very much. For the, uh, for the two months, dude. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you. Much love to you. And uh, Dr. Bone Music, I don't know if I said thank you as well. Thank you as well, man, for the uh, the sub. Hopefully I said I did say thank you. Grab these barracks, put them in group four. Medivacs are popping out really soon. We just started them. We can start our upgrades as well out of our engineering base. Not enough research complete. Not enough minerals. Okay, the third command center is coming online right now. So now let's go ahead and lift it off and land it to a third. Command center upgrade complete. Let's get all these things into reactors. Ready for dust off. Have I ever considered a career in driver ed? Definitely not. No, thank you. I don't want to do that. Doesn't sound like me. Okay, shift move the mineral lines. All the way to the third base outside of the natural. We know the natural exists, so if it comes down to it, we can just drop the natural. But if if we see a base on the way, we'll drop there first. Let's go ahead and get an armory. Let's lower a depot. And let's start saturating this base. So we re-rallied our SCVs to here, and we're landing Complete. our command center right there. Draw, grab a bunch of SCVs. We want uh, 11. Need one more. There we go. 
Drop some SCVs. Oh, and now we're fully saturated. Let's make another command center. I missed you, boss. Yo, thank you very much, Lucky JJC. Much love, dude. I missed you too, dude. You're beautiful. Okay, there's a there's a base there. Let's drop it. I just dropped my Marines on the mini map because I flew over a Zerg base. Awesome. Take our gases here. Start building so, some depots here. Just throwing it out there, you you can build depots to walls or out of more bases, or you can just say, you know what, screw it. The real ones that I, I care about the most for now is your uh, is your main and your natural. Those are the real ones that are really important. Third base is still important for now, but it's not. It, if you don't wall it, I'm not gonna really beat you up over it yet. We'll do that. We're definitely gonna do it more later on though. But if you wanted to, it, it would make sense to like wall this from here to here. Like, wall this can, can connect it. Like, I'll show you. So, I show you what it could look like, right? It looks like shit. But I'll show you what it could look like as well if you do it right. You can wall it like this, and you can do, like, one more depot there. That way, if Zerg wants to attack this base, they have to, like, go around, not just go straight down into your middle lane. It increases the chances that your army will defend properly. What's going on here? Okay, my army's dead. So, let's grab more Marines. Let's load up another medevac. And go along the right side. Control 1. Click. 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 We're looking for bases. Be Get 2-2 two -two going for upgrades. Get vehicle weapons going. <clears throat> we can start getting blue flame upgrades if this guy is going to go for ground. We can make this command center move over here. Build another one. <clears throat> SCV count's almost done. And look at the main map, guys. Just take a quick glance at the mini map. Do we see anything? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Almost to the base we need to go to. Brian, thank you very much for the 15. Brian, thank you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, there's nothing there. So now, let's just go to the right. Since we're on the right side of the map, let's just go drop his main middle line. Just go in there. We can even boost the medevac to do it. Hey, medevac, boost in there and do that. Okay. Okay. Because medevacs do have an ability called boost. If you hit B, it boosts them. It makes them go faster. Which is cool, cool, cool. And now we're maxed out. And now we know we now know where we want to attack first. Which is in front of the Zerg's third base. Because the Zerg doesn't have... The Zerg does not have... Uh, what's it called? Uh, fourth base. And our medevacs are all dead. So let's get ready to set up. Okay, he's going mutas. So if he's going to go mutas, let's do this. Let's make a couple turrets in every base. Let's make like three turrets. Make like three turrets. One more turret. Let's make like three turrets. All the mineral lines. Let's make like three turrets here. Lift this command center off and go there. <coughs> now I can suck my army and go towards the Vitas. And keep making SCVs the whole time. Because again, we're not going to just not make SCVs, guys. We can stimpack our whole marine army to go fight that Muta army. And now that we know he's going Mutas, let's start going Thors. Because it's an air unit. So Thor is going to help a lot. Oh, we, we didn't siege our one of our... Wait, what are we making? What the fuck? We have tanks being made. I did not mean to do that. A move towards the Muta. Fix our economy. Build a turret. Build two more turrets. What's this base look like over here? No turrets. Build three turrets. Hold shift. Repair. Hold shift. Click the mineral line. Okay, make sure this command center lands here. We could even start another one right there. Okay, now let's just go attack him because he's just, you know. We have turrets on all of our bases, so I don't think we're going to break, guys. He's uh, he's trying to be annoying. Let's also lower the traffic jam. Let's aim move right here. Right there. Okay, and also we need a little bit more production. Not a ton this time because I can't afford a ton. We just took some damage, but we need some. Okay, what's my bases look like? Fix that economy. Fix that economy. Fix that economy. Grab some receives off that. Put them on the gas or something. And now our army is here. So now that our army is here, it's grouped up. Let's go ahead and select it. A move. Stim pack. Awesome. Okay. Keep making SCVs. I know this is annoying for most players. You're like, my base! Well, if the Mutas are going to keep flying away, just attack his base. It's Don't just sit in your base like chasing Mutas that go out of your base repeatedly. This is the only thing that matters. 
And we're protecting it. It can't break. We can even repair that at this point. Let's also get 3-3 three, three upgrades. Let's get level 2 upgrades for weapon. And let's now take my army and... Okay. Let's, say, let's take my army and set it up in front of his natural now. And then A, move into the natural with stim pack. And we've increased our production. Even though we lost all of our racks up here, we still have 10 production buildings. Eight of those being racks because we just made more. If he wants to sit there attacking, micring mutas in my base for like four minutes straight and have no defense, then that, that's fine. Five, why'd you make three turrets? The reason why I made three turrets is because if you make one turret, the only way one turret is going to beat a group of mutas by itself is if you repair it every single time, which requires you to catch that every time and micro it every time. But if you make three turrets, it's not too overkill, but it's also not too weak either like it's not like i'm not telling you to make 30 turrets that would be definitely overkill uh but three turrets is enough to like start really just pounding mutas pretty fast like he's his muta count will start to slowly die if he starts actually engaging three turrets at a time now if he goes mass muta if he goes here's the thing if he goes mass mutalisk like eight mutas or nine mutas that's not mass if he makes like 25 or like 33 mutalisk that's mass muta that's a lot of muta if he makes, like, let's say 33 Muta, three turrets are not going to stop 33 Muta Lisk. Even if they're being repaired, they're not going to stop 33 Muta. Like, those turrets are going to die. But if he goes 33 Muta, that army is going to be very weak versus Marines and Thors. So he's not going to really be able to stop our army. So he's probably, like, if he wants to have any chance to actually not die to this, he needs to make something besides Mutas. And if he makes only some mutas, if he makes like 12 or 10 or 8, one turret can still break if you don't repair it. But if you did repair it, it would live. But if you make three turrets, three turrets have a good chance to wear the mutas down enough to where, yeah, three turrets would still probably lose to like 12 muta. But by the time 12 muta kill three turret, there, there'd only be like two mutas left. Like the turrets would kill so many mutas in the process. Okay, and once it's only like two muta, you don't even really care anymore. You could send like five marines over there or build turrets in his face or even if you if you repair it all there you kill the mutas so three turrets are just more durable it's it's durable enough to really deal with someone who goes for a decent amount of mutas upgrade complete okay same thing as always right let's uh speed this shit up our first this is when our first drops going out look at the supply guys Nothing's happened yet to this point in the game, really. I've killed one Overlord, and he's killed my SCV that scouted him. So we both killed each other's scout. Yet, I have double supply. Efficiency. Our opponent went for what looks like a really quick uh, Spire. And is not using Larva, you know, ideally that well. So that's where, like, if we're, again, we're just going 4-5, 4-5, following the rules of macro... We already have this humongous supply lead just because. Just because we macro. That's it. Now our first army gets there and we we don't micro it at all. He kills it with Marine, with uh, Ling Bane. But again, our supply continues to go up, not down, even though we just lost that drop because we have so much production. Now our second drop is moving out right now. And I'm not microing it. I'm just moving across the bases, scouting bases. And I go, oh, no bases, so what do I do? I boost into his base and I drop, I, I just hit boost medevac and I drop right in the middle of his base. And what happens to my medevac? I fly over four fucking, or really three, for the fourth one didn't engage, but I fly over three queens and a spore crawler. And then I start dropping in the range of the spore crawler. And do I give a shit? No, I don't give a shit. Because this is a glorified scout. <coughs> if it does damage, that's wonderful. If it doesn't do damage, it's still acceptable. Because what it really is supposed to do is, again, it's supposed to scout the map for me to let me know where I want to attack in the future. It's also supposed to distract my opponent and disrupt whatever he's doing. And it's definitely, I feel like it's definitely uh, accomplishing that because my opponent is still defensive and not aggressive and it, it's fine. Like, I don't give a shit at all. Like, it's it's not like this, this did like no damage really. I did I did a little bit of damage to some lings over here, but I didn't really do much. Yet. And this medevac drop is going to just insta-die. Actually, two marines get out and start killing like, one drone. But, yeah, like, not even that great. Overall, I've killed four drones in total so far. 
Not the biggest of deals. And the one queen just kills my army. But look what just happened to his grand army. He came back and defended. Because he's like, there's units in my base. Kill them. Normal. It's, nor it's a normal reaction for a player to do that, right? But now this is similar to what we just... Remember that last game we played against the Terran player? Who he, who he showed up to my base with like... Uh, four medevac or four marines and a tank instead of a medevac, and I was like, he needs. He has a lot of room to recover here to just make the game even because he's so far behind already. It's the same concept. Our opponent went for low economy muta, and I'm not gonna say that. Uh, like, we don't have to talk. I don't want to again. I don't want to like uh, talk shit about someone's build here in silver. It's fine. It's just this is where efficiency comes into play. Efficiency always beats non efficiency. It's the whole reason why I started you guys off with that concept. Because if you can't do that, you'll lose all the time either way. Uh, but now, for these mutas to be effective, they have to, at the very least, kill 33 SCVs. But that's not even including the fact that I could be building them as they die. And then also, I'm on four bases, and the Zerg's only on three. So for this game to even out, for this game to become even Stevens, these mutas need to drop my supply by about 90 they need to kill 90 supply worth of Terran. They need to also kill a base. They need to also kill 33 SCVs. Just to even the game out. That's not even putting the Zerg in the lead. And why is the Zerg in such a disadvantage, uh, disadvanta disadvantageous position so far? Because our macro is just solid. That's all it is. Because we went mineral priority over gas because our build is an expansion build versus someone who went gas priority over mineral and their build was a gas build that still expands. That's the only reason why this happened. It's the only reason. We have so much more supply because our opponent just didn't macro as efficient as they could have. That's it. So now the mutas get across the map, and it feels like they did a lot of damage, right? I'm like, I don't even care. I'm like, oh, mutas are here. Let's start making turrets. Start making turrets, guys. Mutas, are, mutas have arrived. They're annoying. And he just wiped out an entire mineral line. That probably feels good, right? For Zerg, you're like, I am fucking owning Terran right now. I'm doing so much damage. But now the, the army gets here um, by the time he hits my other base. He does kill a lot of SCVs, though. I've already lost a lot. I've lost more than three times the amount of resources he's lost now. These Again, these mutas have definitely done a good job. In terms of the mutas only. Okay, we're not talking about economy yet. We're just talking about the mutas. For what these mutas... Uh, like they, like the Muta themselves, okay? They cost 100 minerals and 100 gas. And he's done this much damage to me? That feels good in theory. But if you let this happen to you indirectly, where even though you just killed 28 workers, you're still behind by 13 because I'm still building SCVs while you kill them, that does not feel good. Like, again, the game is not always based off of just this. It's heavily based off of this. And I am still crushing the Zerg's economy even after all those SCVs just died. Which is why I am still maxed out even though I just lost almost 3,000 resources worth of stuff. And it's still happening. And now look at this. Look at the, look at the three turrets, all right? Now check out the three turrets, guys. Back that up for just a second. Why, Vibe, why do you make three turrets? It's not overkill. And look what happens when my Marines are out of position. Look at these fucking mutas. <laughs> One already died. Two died. Three died. Four died. Five died. Almost six, almost seven, almost eight died. Like, he can't do shit. Three turrets are like, get the fuck out of here, dude. So, definitely worth it. If you only had one turret, the only way that one turret would not die, the turret, is if you spam repaired it the whole time, which takes a lot of your attention. But I made, mean, again, what, what is our opponent doing? He's not attacking me with Ling Bane... A Roach Ravager, Hydra Lurker. He's just attacking me with Mutas. So I was like, okay, this is an, an air player. He's only got Mutas in my base, so let's just make sure our SCVs don't all keep dying all day. So I made a couple turrets just to make sure we're safe. Three turrets to be specific per mineral line. And I put them all near each other, near the mineral line. I didn't go turret, turret, turret. I didn't go turret, turret, turret. Because, again, that would be one turret at a time then. I put... Every turret in a situation where if mutas attack any turret, they're always the other turrets are going to be shooting the mutas at the same time. Like if mutas get on top of this turret, this turret and this turret can shoot the mutas on top of that turret. If mutas get on any one of these three turrets, they can all shoot mutas off of each other. If any muta gets on any one of these turrets, they can all shoot mutas off of each other. Same thing here. It's always happening the same way. 
And I built these turrets also around where the command center is going to go. Um, the command center goes inside that circle right there. So I know that if we build turrets like that, we don't block it. That's why I built them there. Uh, another oh, another way to know. Yeah. Here's a cool trick, okay? Here's Guys, here's a cool trick to know. Thanks for another B2GM, <coughs> Mr. Vibu. Noob lives matter. Thank you, Trolling Pooh. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Here's a cool trick to know, okay? If you ever do what I just did here and you go, Vibe, how do you know that you can build... How do you know that you can build a turret there and it doesn't block the command center? How do you know that? The reason why I know this is because a command center is always three grid spots away from a mineral patch. Always. It's not random how people make mineral patches, guys. It's always calculated. And it's always one, two, three grid spots away from the mineral patch. So the command center and the, and the turret are going to touch right there. They're going to be touching side by side. One grid spot here, two, three. Command center is going to be touching both of these turrets. So a turret is a two by two grid spot. <laughs> a turret... If you, if you break a turret down in the build grid, it is four boxes in a square. That's what a turret is. A turret is the same size as a supply depot. So if you actually had a, like, if you had a turret that was against a mineral patch and you moved it up only by one grid spot, that would be perfect place to put it because now it's, that's one, two, three. That's all it is. And then you, you can always fit a command. That's how I know that I can fit a command center there. And I'm not going to be like, ah, oh, shit. Whoops. See what I mean? See how it's touching all the turrets? It literally touches all the turrets. This turret's a little uh, different, though, because it's a corner patch. It doesn't feel like it touches it as, as much. But the command center is, is actually this large, just so you guys know. It's it's actually a square. It's not a circle. Uh, even though it, it, the graphic of it is a circle, you build it. You don't build in this game in circles. You build in squares because, again, it's on a grid. So all these turrets are touching the command center because it's three off the mineral line. And now, he's got Mita's just doing this. You know, I don't care. It's, he's killing a couple barracks. I'm not going to freak out. There's a lot of ways we could deal with this, again, once we can start microing. But for now, um, I chased his Mita's already all the way from here to here to there to there. And then I chased him up, and he flew away. And I was like, all right, let's just set up because I'm maxed out. Let's go attack him now. And then he came back after a little while, and now he's hitting my barracks. He can't hit what's important, though, because he'll if he flies into turrets with that, he dies. So that's why I moved out. And look, look at why we always group up, right? This is why I always group up in front of someone's base. Medivacs get their way really early. Marines are always in the middle. And then my factory units are always in the back. And I, I didn't mean to make more tanks. That was a mistake. But if you happen to do that yourself, don't even bother trying to siege for now. Just fuck it. Uh, these should have been Thors, not tanks. Because of the fact that he's going Mita's. Okay, so we get there. We get there. And once my whole army is grouped up, we stem pack siege. Or sorry, we, we stem pack a move is what I meant to say. And look at what happens when I step back a move. This is what the fight looked like. No micro. Zero micro. Right here. Step back a move. And I step packed right away as well. So watch the step pack buff. Watch the buff of step pack. It's going to wear off during the fight probably. So step pack is still going. It's probably about over. And step, step pack is now over. There's no step pack needle right there. The needle's gone, which means step pack buff has ended. So these Marines are all fighting Zerg without step pack. But again, this this is not what we care about right now because whatever happens, happens. The goal is not becoming a tunnel vision player that tries to win the game with one army, but instead being a player that knows how to consistently play the game over multiple fights throughout the game. You're learning how to be an endurance player, not a sprint player. Like imagine if you were training for a marathon uh, of like, you know, like, you're, like the marathon is literally like this bronze to GM. That's what the marathon of StarCraft is, is trying to go all the way from the beginning to the end. And it's fucking hard when you like there's points of it. that are going to be really hard. And you're going to you're going to struggle. It's going to be rough. And how are you going to train for that? Are you going to train for it by sprinting really fast for fucking 10 seconds at a time and then getting winded and be like, OK, I'm done for the day. I just sprinted really quickly. No, you're going to fucking train by going the going the distance. You're going to endurance it. It's it's it, if you're going to try to go to GM, don't try to only play the first eight minutes of a game and then stop. Because you're eventually going to have to go beyond that. So don't don't only learn how to play up to minute 8 and then that's all you know how to do, right? We know how to play every second that goes on and on and on and on and on and on. We know how to play. So if our opponent is a sprint player and he only knows how to play early game 
it means that the longer the game goes, the more likely we're going to win. That's the whole point of, again, why I tell you this right now is not the priority right now. Eventually it will be because the only reason why this is not the priority is because if it was the priority, it would be sacrificing this, 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 all the important shit. This is more important because we can rebuild this if this dies, if we focus on this. However, if we focus on this, we can't rebuild this if this dies because we don't have enough of this. If macro is left un unintended and just like becomes crappy, you can't actually rebuild an army properly. So that's, again, why our priority is macro first, micro second. And we're still working on our macro. So, again, this is what happens. Even though Stimpak is over, we still take a great fight. It doesn't even matter. Like, we killed so much with the initiation that we just ro run over the Zerg at this point. And then that's it. And he leaves. And now, again, it's a situation where it's almost double supply. 200 supply versus 100 supply. So, it, yeah. Shit just fell apart for the Zerg. Things fell apart for the Zerg player. Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, I think these medevac drops are definitely uh, giving us a lot of utility power here. These medevacs are nice. Okay, we got another game. Same thing again. The con like we're, again, we're gonna probably go through these a lot faster now. Uh, like I just broke that last one down as well because we hadn't played a Zerg yet. Um, I wanted to give you guys an idea again because again, the medevac, the medevac drop is now a new addition to what we're doing. Right? It's 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 pretty. We've now done it versus all three races th in this video, uh, and we're gonna just keep doing it. We're gonna get better. We're, all we're trying to do now is now we kind of know what we're doing. We're just gonna keep doing it and try to get better at it. Because we're probably not comfortable with it yet. Like, you are... If, when you try this, you're probably going to be like... Oh, my... Okay, 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 okay. okay. And it's just going to, like... Your, your brain's going to melt for a minute. And you're going to be like, okay, this felt really overwhelming. I got to do it again. I got to do it again. I got to do it again. And that's that's fucking normal. That's super normal to feel that way. Uh, because, I mean, I don't... There's... You're not supposed to just hear something explained to you. And then you can just automatically do it like an expert right away. It takes experience. So just practice it. Keep practicing. So we're trying to get used to what we're doing, which is going to lead us into Gold League, which is going to increase even more stuff we're going to be doing. We're getting more comfortable with everything as we go. So we made our barracks. <clears throat> we can make our gas. Keep making SCVs on five. Put our barracks on four. Grab our SCV and shift right-click his mineral patch. Shift right-click our mineral patch. We're going to check and see if he expands when we expand. And if he doesn't, we make a bunker. Okay, we're going to put our boys on our gas. That way we can afford our factory and all that stuff. Okay, we're going to put our SCVs, or put one SCV down to the natural, and we're going to make our orbital command now, because the barracks is done. Make a marine. Put the command center back on the main base. This way we didn't rip an SCV off. A new one just spawned on this side and went directly to the natural. We make our command center, hold shift, and uh, well, we misclicked. Like, do another hold shift. It doesn't matter. Right click the mineral line. There we go. Now we're now we're on the mineral line. It's it's good to go. Okay, let's take another. Let's take, now let's take an SCV off and let's build a depot. Otherwise, we're gonna block. Command center upgrade. Why are we gonna block? Because we're making marines constantly. Later on, we won't. We can actually go factory first later on because we'll be going for a reaper uh, at some point. But for now, again, we're going marines, so we definitely need a depot. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make it make a factory. We can make our reactor. Have this guy go back in my minerals. Oh. And what happened? Yeah. Yo, Mario Caprison, thank you for the five months. You the man vibe. Thanks for the guys. <laughs> no worries, dude. Thank you very much for watching. What happened is uh, he doesn't have a natural. So what are we doing? We're going to go ahead and uh, build a bunker. That's right. That's what we do, right? No natural means we build bunker. Okay, so let's build our orbital command. Let's go ahead and build our second racks. Build a tech lab on this factory. Make some marines. Make some SCVs. 
make our second gas now because now we can actually afford to spend more gas. Because again, mineral priority, and we don't need a infinite. We don't need double gas already going crazy to make tanks, which we can already afford tanks for. So this is going to now increase the cost of. We're going to add on stim pack eventually, and also medevacs. So that's why we're taking more gas. Here yeah, we can load up our bunker. We can make our depots. Rally point all of my production to the front of my base. Rally point my command center to the natural. And put some SCVs on the natural as well while we're at it. So now we're at 16 out of 16 and we're good to go. Keep making units. Keep making depots. Keep doing my tech as well. Let's get our starport. Let's get a tech lab. Add the starport into our control group. Rally our control group over there. Keep making SCVs. Make a depot. Tank on high ground. All same stuff we're doing constantly. As trying to get comfortable with it as much as you can. There we siege our tank. Keep making units. Keep making units. Keep making units. Four we're checking four or five a lot. Trying to make sure we're not wasting like thirty seconds at a time being like, whoops, we haven't been producing anything for the last half minute. Make sure we're always producing. Keep making marines. Let's make a reactor on that starport. Put this new this SCV down to our natural because it's just idle doing nothing. Make a stim pack upgrade because we have enough gas for it. Keep making depots. Checking my bases left and right, left and right, left and right. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? This base is fully saturated. I am got a lot of money. Let's take another command center. I'm still producing out of four or five. First tank on the natural. Let's put it here. Uh, let's put it over here this time. Last time we did here. This time let's go here. Again, it doesn't matter. Just put it in a decent spot with the depots. Like that. That's maybe a little too far back. You could definitely fix it a little bit. And if you're like, yeah, I'll fix that. Go up a tiny bit and siege it. Now look at it. It's like perfect. Okay, let's make our gases at our natural now. And what do we always do with gases at our natural? We're going to add in some more depots. So let's grab a couple of SCVs and start our depots right now. Depot. Depot. Or, sorry, uh, not depot. Uh, engineering bay. My bad. I meant to say engineering bay. Now we can also make depots, though. I do need those, too, because we're getting really close to supply blocking. And this is done now. Got a few more depots. Siege our other tank, like right here. Awesome. That's a great spot. Okay. Let's get our guys in gas. Now we got a medevac. Let's load that bad boy up. And let's go right this time. So control one, mineral line, mineral line, mineral. Oops, I clicked, misclick. Mineral line, mineral line, mineral line, mineral line, mineral line. Awesome. Get our upgrades. Get our units pumping. Orbital command this bad boy. We have three tanks already, and we made three because we're not getting attacked. I could make four if I felt like we were under pressure, but we're not under pressure right now, so we stopped at three. And we're chilling. We're literally just chilling. We're about ready to take our third base. I misclicked one of those mules, so I can just hit F1 when it lands and tell it to go to the mineral patch, and we're good to go. Make a couple more depots. That way we don't supply block, because, again, we're... We're going to start going pretty fast here. Okay. Look at our tanks. Fucking owning, right? They did a great job already. Let's go ahead and make a few more barracks because I can't spend my money properly anymore. Let's also make an armory because we want our upgrades to go to 2-2. Two, two. And there's nothing here. So let's boost our mana back in and drop like behind his mineral line right here. Forget, forget about it. Forget about it. Okay, let's take our third base. I, and I know... A lot of people as well, they're like, he was just right there though, Vibe. But guess what? Distraction disruption right there. He's not going to be there anymore, probably. And even if he was, I don't give a shit. Just fucking try. Take your natural or your third. Don't sit there with oversaturated natural forever. Expand on time. Let's even take another base while we're at it because we can. Okay. Grab all these barracks we just made and put it in our control group for number four. Grab all these SCVs that are excess and send them over here. Awesome. Maybe send two back because we, we took too many. So two go back. And now we're landing the command center. Oh, and we're good to go. Yeah. Drop some meals at it. Make a bunch of reactors on our four. Make marines and medevacs. And we're about ready to start. Uh, we're starting weapon upgrades level one. 
Let's start level 2-2 two, two upgrades because we saw this is done now. So let's go ahead and start 2-2. Two, two. Awesome. The space is fully saturated. Let's get our gases. And now let's take another medevac and load up and go left. Control 1. Click. 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 We went all the way to his third base because I don't know if he has a natural or not. And I... I I have no idea. I'm just we're getting our meta. If our medevac gets fucked up and dies again, it's okay. It's a scout. If it does damage, that's great. But it's really just a scout that can potentially do a lot more. Okay, let's start saturating SCVs on this base up here. Keep making my bio. This base is good. Let's put SCVs on this gas. Let's take a couple more depots, just a few more, because again, we don't want a supply block. This base can now lift and land right there. And we could even take another base right there. And why? Because we're still making SCVs. We're not done yet. And this is already going to be pretty saturated. Meanwhile, four, five, four, five. Five needs 11 more SCVs. Four needs to just keep producing units. We're doing a great job so far. Okay. We're just checking our base. Che crossing our T's and dotting our I's. Checking all the little details. Grab my Marines. And look, I see no bases in the left side of the map. I realized, okay. Well, there's nothing on the left side. Now let's... We can just drop right there. Boost medevac. Call it a day. Whatever happens... I don't know. Is it going to die? Is it going to fly into a turret? We don't mind. I don't give a shit. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Marines. You're disposable. But I'm going to attack soon. And now I know this turns on two bases. So I know where I want to attack already. And I've done drop damage in the process to figure that out. So SCV count. We're just about done, guys. We're really, really close. We're about to max as well. We're getting really close as well with that. Command center upgrade. And our drop is literally just dead. So it didn't really it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like it did much, which is okay. Okay. So let's uh, I think we're a supply block. I just dropped a couple more cut on supplies on this just to give us enough supply to max. Let's put an SCV over here to this new base. Or actually we should take another base again because we're mining out patches. So we need more room to build more SCVs. Or to to make them go to new bases. Make these guys all mine that planetary. We need one more SCV and we're done. We're maxed out. Now let's take our army and go like this. A move right here. Why? <coughs> it's in front of his natural. And we're going to group everything up right there. Let's start at 3-3. Three, three. Let's start level... We already did. Cool. Look at our money. It's really high. So, what are we going to do? Racks. 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 Shift. Click the mineral line. Come over here. Starport. Factory. Racks. 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 Shift click the middle line. Grab all this production. Grab all this production. Okay, he's attacking us. So it is what it is. Take my army. A move the natural. Step back it. Okay. This is why tanks are so good here, guys. Don't freak out. This is why I tell you not to unseat your tanks. I think we're fine. Keep making SCVs. Keep making depots. Keep expanding. Let's go. Not Let's not panic and let's go. Okay. Let's expand again. You just killed one of my bases. How about we take another one? Let's come up here and go A move. Stim pack. Onto the, onto the ramp. But we can hold shift and now A move into there. Okay. Let's make a reactor. Let's make a reactor. Let's make these all reactors. All these racks out here. Good stuff. This base is a planetary. Let's... You know, start using it. Keep making SCVs. We're at 73 still. We're still looking pretty solid. We're still making Marines. And what are we? We're maxed out. We are maxed out right now. Okay, let's retake this base. He, he ended up leaving. He's going home to defend himself. We can have an SCV repair that. And we can even have another SCV build that. Hold shift. Click the uh, mineral line so we mine afterwards. This base is oversaturated. Let's stop mining there. Let's right click my command center is like down to here or something. SCV count. Look at it, guys. We're back to fucking max saturation. We're good to go. We're so good to go. Make Marines. Uh, we can make Hellbats with this because we, yeah, because we don't, we didn't need Thors here. Because there was no air army from our opponent. And then yeah, we could go into medevacs. Afterwards. And suddenly we're maxed again. We're good to go. <coughs> this is why I also... Th this is seriously the biggest reason why I want this build to have tanks in it, though. 
is because if that guy decided to base trade me, those tanks would have done so much fucking work. And all you got to do to make them do a really good job is lift your depot wall. Make sure your depot wall is up. That's it. Because then you're macroing the whole time anyway, so you're seeing what's happening, right? And you're like, because you see where he's at in your base. And if he's like going here and he's kill on a warpath killing like that to the left towards your natural, lift your depots. And suddenly those tanks that are getting the perfect shots away from the depot wall are going to do such a good job. So again, all we're going to look at here is we're going to time zate it. We'll look at the fights and we'll look at supply during the fight. Like before and after the fight and stuff. So our opponent went for a heavier bio comp early game. Which is fine. But look at the supply. Look at the worker. One of us is economical. The other one isn't. So he goes. He gets ready to move out and attack us. And what happens as soon as he gets ready to attack us? He comes to the front of my base with his units. He runs into a couple of tanks and goes, oh god. Never mind. I am going to say screw that. And what would happen if he dropped in my main base? Look at the total army supply. 23 marines versus 26 marines. Two marauders versus three tanks and then three medevac to one medevac we have definitely a comparable army this is not like oh my god if that dropped our main we would just die because we're also we have so many more scvs we are totally willing to if he drops my main a move the main with my army and even grab my scvs and a move with my scvs if we feel like we have to meanwhile this is happening at the same time and we're not microing this at all we are not microing this and his army is super far out of position right now so this is a serious problem for him, and we don't even—I don't even know what's happening. Again, it's not the—it's not the important part. Is to like make sure we get all the SCVs that rotated over here. We already—we already did so much damage as it is. We killed nine SCVs, and now the SCV count is 54 to 28. This is brutal. And we're actually—we're killing a lot here, guys. Like this is doing so much damage. And I'm not even there. It's because he's he's fighting it. With, this army's still sitting here. It's, he's he totally forgot this existed. It's been sitting here the whole time. So he's just taking so much damage from this bio. And at the end of the day there, we killed 31 units with that drop. That's, that, that, that's where it's like, wow, that was a good one. That was a like in the bat on the bad side. You get a s full scout of the bases on the side of the map, and you just fly in and suicide the medevac. On a good one, you get a full scout of all the bases on the side of the map, and you go into the base and you do fucking thirty-one kills, right there. And you're like, wow, I just killed a bunch of marine marauder and fifteen SCVs. Holy holy crap! A lot of things just died right there. And this guy is like, good lord, I'm fucked. Like this is this feels awful for him because now he's rustled. He's, he's flustered, and he's like, okay, I'm distracted, I'm disoriented, my build is now going to shit, I don't know what to do anymore, and he plays worse, and all we did was we loaded up a medevac, and we went, drop it, and I didn't even micro it, we didn't even micro it, we just disrupted him like crazy, for minimal effort. What, and what are we focusing on? We're focusing on our macro, we're focusing on us not disrupting our own build. And now, sorry, I think that was the second drop. Did we just do the second drop? Yeah, so our second drop shows up. And we, now we scouted the left side of the map. And this is what our second drop looks like. Our second drop is currently dropping into a shitload of Marines with Stimpak. So obviously this one is going to get dumpstered. This one is going to do nothing. He focuses down the medevac and then he just insta-kills all my Marines. And that was, that was a literal waste. That was a waste of our drop right there. So that one was on the... That, we got like best case scenario over here. It's even still alive. Just a medevac that is. And we got worst case scenario over here. We didn't kill a single thing. We almost killed one marine that was getting killed by a medevac. But we landed and we just died. All my marines just died for nothing right there. But it's okay. Because now I know where his bases are. And that is a big confidence booster to me. Because I just now go. Okay I know he's got no bases here. And I know he's got no bases here. Which means what? It means this guy has two bases. I got five. So if I'm doing a two base versus a five base, I know I'm in a really good spot right now, which is why we have 36 to 80 SCVs. Mineral field depleted. So I know that I'm in a great spot, and now I know that if, if when the time comes when I have 200 supply, I should definitely be pushing him, 
because I will fucking just I will murder it, whatever he has with this push. This is a scary push to stop, super scary. <clears throat> and our push gets to his base, and then a lot of stuff dies. We kill the third. We kill some bio that's there. He drops my base at the same time. He kills my command center. He kills a bunch of my racks. He's stimming, but he's also stim packing, and he's he's trying to attack home with his army. So his army is actually running home with stim pack attacks. Which, again, that's fine, because if he didn't do that, guys, if he did not go home with this, this army would kill his base in the meantime. And I am still rebuilding new buildings, new factory, new starport, new racks over here. More command centers are going to get thrown down. Another command center is getting thrown down. I am just macroing. I'm fixing things that die. I am not... Foc I'm not fixated on the army. I'm just fixating on things that die. And my tanks that are still here are going to be more than enough to just destroy 15 marines and one marauder. Three tanks and a bunker. Not to mention all my rallies that are now being still made. Because I'm still building units, right? It's not like I'm not doing anything now. I'm macroing. Everything that dies on this side gets rebuilt on this side. You guys ever do that boss fight? Uh, this is kind of a funny example. I, so, someone out there might relate to this. But uh, the Hagen the Unclean, I think is what he's called. He's a Nax Ramus boss fight in World of Warcraft. And it's like when one side kills a unit, it starts spawning on the other side. It's kind of like that where anything on my aggressive side that dies while he's defending will just immediately rebuild on the defensive side, which stops his aggression. So the more he defends, the more powerful my defense becomes. So I'm not that afraid of this attack at all. Because, again, like I said before, the tanks are super effective. And more units that die on the aggressive side means stronger defense on the defensive side. Because it's just being instantly rebuilt with macro because I have enough production to do that. Because I'm not just watching barracks die and watching a base die and do nothing. I'm rebuilding barracks at the same time. And I'm also building new command centers at the same time as shit dies. So I'm just replacing what dies. And I'm rebuilding SCVs as they die. I am not doing nothing. I am supply block right now, though. So I also have to make more supply. But yeah, we're trying to build SCVs and stuff like that. We're always we're always trying to macro more. And there you go. Nice Ola. Nice Ola. Nice. <coughs> hey. Dear sir slash madam. Regretfully, your son gave his life for nothing in this great, ar great Viborami. But it's not for nothing. He, he, you know what he did? You know what that, what that Marine did in the medevac that died that didn't do any damage? He gave us a lot of intel, intel right there. I was gonna say a lot of intelligence, but I, mean, I feel like more people understand the term of intel because it's what it's normally said in like a movie. We got some crucial intel right there, guys. We got intel. We got to know there's no expansions in a line all the way across that side of the map, which means our opponent is not as rich as we would might be afraid of. It means we're in way more control of the game than we might realize. Because that's where efficiency comes in comes into play. And if you're on four bases, if you're on four bases and you have a solid army and your opponent's on two bases and they haven't killed you yet, that's where you can tell well, I'm just way more efficient. Because the only way low base counts... The only way low, low base counts overpower high base counts is if they attack early and break high base counts. Like, because the army just overpowers them. But if you get past the phase of... Like, if you have if you have more army supply and more base count, well, you have nothing to be afraid of then. You just are overall stronger in every way. <coughs> Sorry. What's going on? SCV ready. Additional Let's make a depot. Oh, I'm sorry, make a barracks. Make our gas. <coughs> make another SCV. Control 4, our racks. Take our SCV, building the racks. Shift, mineral line. Hold shift still, mineral line. Let go of shift, let go of the SCV. Stop clicking it. Now we're going to make our next SCV that... Uh, when we're going to time it to where when the racks is done, an SCV should be finishing at the same time as well. This means we haven't missed SCVs. If you ever fuck it up and you miss SCVs, 
If your SCP is not more than halfway done, honestly, just cancel it and instantly start the orbital. It's not worth it to be. If your SCP is like right there, like literally that far into production, and you're ready to start an orbital, cancel the SCP and make an orbital. It's so much more important. But see how this is like finishing? This is finishing. We can instantly do it together. So it's like boom, orbital right as the barracks is done. So that's we've done it correctly because we didn't just waste SCP time, and we didn't waste barracks time either. We didn't like have the SCP sit there for ten seconds. Now we can re rally the command center back to the main. We can build our natural. We can uh, start making marines. <clears throat> I kind of want this guy to 12 pull me because I want to show you guys a 12 pull defense. It's a little different. I'll, 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 if he doesn't do it, I'm just going to explain it either way. All we would do if he 12 pulled me, if we're, if we're like, oh god, that's scary, you have two choices. And I, I, I really, I'll just say you have one. Honestly, cancel the command center at the natural. If you if you think you're like, okay, I'm definitely going to lose it. Put the Marines, instead of on this side of the wall, put them on this side of the wall and just build a new command center here. That would probably be the best thing you can do. Because micro would, would be needed to not die. And that's kind of hard to do if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, lower a depot. Marines are killing an overlord. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get a uh, reactor. also build our bunker now all right sorry no no bunker no bunker so what we can do instead no bunker because he has a natural so now what we can do instead is we can go into making depots make an orbital let's drop a mule on this base let's start another barracks why do you build the far depot first instead of the close one doesn't matter doesn't matter do whatever you want with that you could build that depot first or that depot first. It doesn't matter. You're building both of them either way. It does not matter really. It's not. It's so. It's such a minor thing. It's like it'd be like saying, "What's the difference, vibe, but between 900,999 and 900,992?" It's like, well, in the grand scheme of things, it's pretty much the same fucking number. It's exactly the same. It's very, very, very minor. You won't even notice a difference. Okay, we need to start our gas. Our second gas is super late. So it's it's a bit delayed now. Our gas is going to be a little thrown off, but it's okay. Just make do with what you got. Keep building depots. We can move our uh, rally point down here now uh, to protect our depots. Start our starport. Get our tech lab on the uh, racks. And now since our gas is super late, our second tank is going to be pretty late, but it's okay. Because this one tank is already going to be so value here if this guy decides to attack us. Get our gas saturated. Add on complete. Okay. Let's get our second tank started as soon as possible because we want to maintain production, right? Maintain production as much as possible. Second tank is now started, so it's a little delayed, but we still made do with it. Let's go ahead and get a couple more depots because we don't want a supply block. Get a reactor on that starport. And look at our natural. It's almost fully... It's getting close to full saturation. And look at my money. It's getting up there, right? And the reason why it's getting up there faster this time is because we delayed the tank, which is a cost. Because we fucked up the gas. So now let's make a command center a little bit earlier. Instead of at 16, we'll make it at 13. Which is fine. Which is just, It's almost the same thing, but it's just very minor difference. Let's get our second tank siege. Let's look like right there. Okay. Let's get our engineering bays and our gases going because we're fully saturated on the natural now. Let's get our stem pack upgrade and let's start making medevacs as soon as possible. Let's make a couple more engineering or a couple more depots because again we don't want to block. We're getting we're getting close to we're, we're building units so fast now. We're definitely getting close to blocking. Get our gases saturated properly. We get we grab five, so grab two. Shift two, shift two, grab the final one, put it back to the middle line. That way we don't have four out of three on one of the gases. Siege our other tank, and now I think we're good on tanks. All tanks are positioned pretty well around the fog of war line of sight. This tank is on high ground, which is really important. And we're good. Now we're just chilling. We're get our upgrades. And now let's start doing medevac drops like we've been doing before, because our, we're starting to actually get to that stage of the game now. Get a couple more depots so we don't block. Command Center also just finished, which is going to help a lot Not with supply. Let's go ahead and load this up. Stop the Marines. 
Let's go left side first this game. So there, 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 there. Control one. Looking for any expansions Zerg might have. Keep making units. Keep Now let's make an armory. Why? Because these upgrades are underway. So we want to make sure we can continue upgrades. Because if we don't build this, we can't start 2-2. Two, two. Let's get our third base. You can take this base or this base. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. No, let's just take the... Who gives a fuck? Take this one. We're not worried too much about what makes more sense yet. Uh, we'll talk more about what makes more sense to take later on. But for now, it's fine. We're not worried about it. Our money's getting kind of high, so let's go. Racks, 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 racks. Shift click the mineral line. Grab these. S grab this command center and re-rally all my SCVs here. And let's grab all these SCVs that are excess over here and send them over. Okay. And my medevac is uh, getting attacked by a lot of stuff. So my medevac just died. So it's okay. That was that was a glorified scout, right? Close to three years. It's okay. So we know where his bases are on the left side. Let's do the same thing on the right side now. Control one, click, 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 click. Now we're gonna see if we can actually get a successful drop this time. Thank you very much for the uh, sub G sound. Much love, dude. Okay, get weapon upgrades for vehicle. Drop a bunch of mules because we can afford it. Let's get another command center. We definitely need another one. Get a bunch more reactors for our Marines. And our medevac still has not scouted anything yet in the middle of the map. So we know the Zerg is at least on three, maybe four bases, but at least three bases. Get our combat shield now because Stimpak is done. And now there you go. Look at medevac. Drop that mineral line at the fourth base right there. Keep making units. Keep making SCVs. We can, how about this? We put some depots right here and block this ramp off because this is an exposed area to this base. We can do that as well. Just similar how we did with our uh, other uh, depots here and how we did with the depots here. This guards the third more. Okay, let's grab final one. One more medevac on the left side. Go, go, go. And then once we get here to the open, if there's still no bases, let's drop either the main base or the third base. We have a choice. With these scout drops, you can literally scout whatever you want. You don't have to just only attack like the third only. If you want to, if you want to drop the main, you can drop the fucking main if you want to. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's take this base. Let's even take another base while we're at it, because we're, again, we're making SMBs like a madman right now, and we, we're going to supply block otherwise. Let's get more. Let's get more depots here. Let's wall this base off. There you go. Boom. Walled off. Hold shift. Click the mineral line. Fix our gas here. And grab a bunch of SCVs because we're so oversaturated here. And say, hey guys, go mine here. To the new base we just made. Awesome. Mineral field depleted. Upgrade complete. Now, we can go here or here. Let's, uh, let's go here. Drop that. Call it a day. And that's the last time we're going to do it. So now we know for sure the Zerg is on four bases. We know this Zerg is a four base player. And that's totally fine. Let's grab six SCVs off this and come up here. SCV count is actually good. We're done with SCVs. We can even take another command center over here because we need base mine. Base, when bases mine out, we need to have more places to send them to. So let's expand again to make sure we can do that. And now check my check out our money, right? Look at our money. Our money is uh, getting up there again, and we're also maxed out. So let's take our army. Let's attack the let's attack the right side. Let's go here. Select the army and go on the right side. So let's go here first. So our army is located actually on the right side of the map. So there first. And then let's shift move right there. Okay. Vehicle weapons, bio weapons and armor. And now let's make a bunch of other production. So factory, starport, racks, racks, shift click the mineral line. Racks, 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 racks. Ship, I think this one up here is a little fucked up because I don't think there's enough room for an add-on. Oh, no, it does. It does. Okay. It has two grid spots to the right, so it's good. Add these all into our control group. Add them into our control group. Okay. Uh, we didn't make a factory here somehow, so let's try again. Let's add a couple more racks in here. Another racks like right there. Add the factory. Add the two racks. Now we're at 20 production facilities, so that's good. Now let's get our army down through the choke point. Get them through the, the opening. And look, we see drones, so let's aim move here first. Fuck it. Because we, just because we saw drones. It's fine. 
Let's make another planetary over here. And we also just made a planetary over here. And we're, uh, yeah, we're chilling. Okay, let's get our army relocated right here again, right in the front of the base, because this base is dead. So let's make four tech labs. Let's make a reactor. And let's hold down reactor for all racks now. Now let's take our army and A move this and stim pack. Now make a reactor on that factory. And let's make blue flame, smart servos, and we'll start going marines, marauders, hellions, or rather hell bats, and medevacs. That's all we'll do now. So marauders, hell bats, medevacs, and marines. We just made a lot. <clears throat> uh, select all army, and let's now attack his next base. Take this and stim pack towards the third base now because, again, it's the next most exposed base. We can definitely fuck it up. Fix our economies. <laughs> Drop a bunch of mules on bases that have a lot of open patches. Okay, we just we just hit a jackpot. We are super rich right now. I can remax all day. And now if I want to get uh, now I have a choice again, right? My army's chilling here, and I made a lot of new units, so I can select all army and grab everything, or I can go here. I can go some do something like this. Check this out. I can go since some of my units are misrallied. I can be like this. Select all army, A move right there, click the screen on the minimap right here, green box this, right click right here. Now I've I've relocated all rallies that are sitting there that are fucked up, and this army is still sitting there, but I can tell this army by itself, hey, A move right there, and stim pack. And what this does is, is I'm not telling these units across the map to stim pack way the fuck over here and be like, ah. And we're going to do this more often in Gold League, but for now... This is just organizing our base more properly. GG. Nice. And again, we'll just we'll check out the drops again. We'll see how the drops went. Because uh, again, the build's always the same, right? Now the only new thing is the drops. And we're seeing what the game looks like before and after drops. Like, what does the supply look like? Right now we're behind in supply. Now we're ahead in supply. Now we're tied in supply. Now we're ahead in supply. This is on really fast game speed, by the way. Now it's tied. We're pretty much tied with the Zerg the whole way through. We're taking a little bit of a lead now. And it's actually kind of maintaining. We're maintaining a tiny bit of a lead here. So why are we maintaining a lead for no reason? Because our build's just a little bit more efficient. That's all. Now our first drop gets to his base. And we manage to go right to where all the queens are. <coughs> By chance, right? It's like, oh no, dang it. Well, there goes a dead medevac. That medevac did legit nothing. And we just threw away the whole thing. It's okay. So now... Going further forward, even though we lost that medevac, we're still ahead in supply because our build, again, is all about efficiency and we're, being, we're playing a little bit more efficient. Now, second time, our medevac finds the, new, the, the furthest exposed base and now we actually get a drop. So the first drop was terrible. The second drop so far has been okay. We've killed like three drones. Now we're about to kill a queen. Now we're going to kill some lings. And banelings are coming right now. And now, I would say that drop, honestly, kind of paid for itself. Like, maybe even a little bit more than paid for itself. Like, realistically. Like, th those eight marines, if the medevac dies as well, that's not great. But I mean, we're not we're not microing it. We're not worried about it yet. But that, the medevacs definitely, or sorry, the marines there definitely killed more than what they're worth. They killed a queen. They killed, like, four or five drones. They killed, like, 15 lings or 12 lings. It's definitely worth more than what the Marines cost, which is why we've actually evened up the game. But here's the thing. It's not about just the drops. I'm not like, like later on, it will be more about the drops. Again, as we grow as a player, it will be. But for now, it's all about the fact that now I know where his bases are. I have actually now secured the location on the map where Zerg is. I, I now am 100% accurate of where I'm going to attack. And look at my supply. And look at his supply. He got distracted as fuck. Guys, we were tied earlier. We were legit tied earlier, and I started slowly breaking away. But the second a couple drops happened, I'm now almost like I'm getting massive supply leads here. And did I micro the medevac drops? No, I didn't. I just fucking uh, I just a moved them, or I, I just uh, I just dropped them and forgot about them. And now here's the final one, the third one. So what does this one do? This medevac goes in, it lands in the mineral line, and we're shooting the queen. We're shooting some drones. Oh yeah. Am I microing this? No. I love B2GM. Ling Bane tries to engage, and that would just happen to be a good fight for us. Like, look at that. 
I didn't micro anything, but those Ling Bane got destroyed because the Marines microed themselves into a mineral pocket. Because they got aggroed onto the Queen. And now they killed all the Ling Bane here. They're going to kill the Queen in a second. They killed a bunch of drones. Like, this is an amazing drop. And now look at the result of this drop, guys. Look at production. Look at production. Look at units. All these larvae sitting there. Look at all these queens doing nothing. Like, he's super distracted, right? Which is why I'm doubling his supply now. Like, this is exactly what these drops accomplish. Which is why I do want you to do them. And this is why I want you to do it in silver now instead of gold. Because when I was not doing these, they're not that hard to do. If we don't micro them at all. And uh, it, it's they're so valuable. They're so good. They're very, 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 very high power. Still, still no units being made by my opponent, right? He's got 9,000 minerals in the bank because he's fucking playing flustered. He's like, oh, God. What the hell's happening in this game? Ah. Meanwhile, we're grouping up our actual push now. So now we're maxed out. And we're going for it. And then now it goes back to the bronze style of just a move, stim pack, a move, with a move, stim pack, a move, stim pack. No micro. All macro. That how we, that, that's how we do it, man. And then, yeah, I mean, there's nothing really he has to defend. I guess I'll, I'll watch that. Well, this is his, this is the final army. It's just a small army versus a big army. That's it versus that. So he gauges some of the bio dies to some banes with no micro, but we just have too many Marines that it doesn't matter. And then it's just too much. And now Zerg is legit just dead. Also, yo, Sean, what's up, man? Uh, Diablo 2 is going really good. I'm having fun. I got a sorceress with like almost 500% magic find, like level 84, looking hot. I I need to. Uh, I'm already able to magic find hell runs, like multiple things all over hell. I can do all, anything between Act One and Act Five. Some obviously more efficient than others. But yeah, it's not going bad. Sorry guys, the people on Twitter or on YouTube, you're probably like, what the fuck is I'm talking about? That was a. Uh, Sheth is a former anyone who is a Starcraft gamer that was around Wings Liberty. Sheth, remember Sheth, Liquid Sheth, uh, FXO Sheth, Root Sheth, the same guy, the Zerg player. He's in my chat. He's a legend. And he's he's curious about how my Diablo 2 new ladder season on Project Diablo 2 is going. It's going fun. It's pretty good. Sheth, I love you, man. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just saw that you said those drops did better than if I actually microed them myself, Chef. <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. Uh, <laughs> that's why I don't do it, because I can't handle it. <laughs> if I micro it, it's worse. <laughs> okay, what are we playing against? A Protoss, with the name Zerg in his name. Plaza Zerg, the Protoss player. Okay, so yeah, sa same thing, guys. Nothing different, right? Nothing different. Silver Terran styles of just learning how to play, but doing everything we did in bronze, learning how to do an economy, learning how to develop our, our, our build overall Additional with efficiency. Not, we're not, again, we're not, we're not like tunnel vision on the idea of I need a build order because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, you need to understand how to fucking play StarCraft before you understand what a build order means. Because if you don't understand how to play StarCraft and you copy a build order, you're still going to lose a shitload with it and not realize why you're losing you're gonna have no understanding of the game so what makes okay we're getting uh we're getting all in this is fine it's okay so if this happens guys you can still uh we like we, we remember how we talked about i can pull scvs if i want to if the cannons aren't done yet you can totally do that okay you can totally i could pull i could have pulled scvs on a move before the cannons were done but here's a cool tip of a way you can deal with the cannon rush here's another idea okay check this out let's just make a bunker right there Okay, we're going to make a bunker a little bit back. We're going to make an orbital. Okay. And now we're going to make another command center. Okay, make sure the Marine doesn't go down the ramp. Just, this is, the, you do have to, I guess you, you kind of got to mic over like a half a second here. Just make sure he doesn't go down the ramp. Put him in the bunker. Now rally your your uh, rally your barracks into the bunker. Okay. We can now make a factory, and we can now also make a second supply depot. We can now also, since we're supply block, we can move the barracks back a little bit, back to here. Let's make another depot. 
This is just one option you have to defend a cannon rush. So just make sure you're, all you gotta do is make sure your marine doesn't chase the probe down into a cannon and you're okay. Then you're, you're, you're golden after that. Okay, when the second factory finishes, we're gonna still, we're gonna take our, uh, our second gas. When the second factory is done, we're still making a command center, guys. I'm still expanding. I don't give a shit. You guys are like, like a lot of people out there are like, oh my god, I'm getting cannon rush. I need to freak out. I'm still expanding. I don't even care. I'll just kill it and then I'll take my expansion after. I don't even give one shit. Add on complete. Okay, this SUV is going to probably need to start repairing this bunker again, especially now with that. So let's be really careful here. Complete. Make marines, make tanks. Okay, so he's got some zealots, so let's just A-move my... It just A-move SCVs on the zealots. It is what it is. Let's repair this bunker. A-move my marines to the to the zealot area. And now we just start mining minerals. And guys, we got two command centers. We can afford some losses here. Also, look at my, my, deep, my bunker. It's going down in health more than it's going up. So let's get a second SCV to help repair that. And now, as soon as this tank comes out... We are fine. So this tank can come forward right here and it can siege. Awesome. Now we've, we're okay. Bunker, or not, not bunker rush, sorry. Cannon rush is over. So we just took our time and we tried really hard to like not over commit. Okay, again, we could have just A-moved the, the cannon. if we really, That's another way you could have defended it. But this time we chose to go that offensive route, which was we, we made a bunker, we repaired that bunker, and we made tank. Now, now we have our build is exactly what it was before. It's just that our SCVs are overstacking the main for a little longer than we want because he's cannoned my natural. So now we can unseize our tank, and we can move our tank forward. Okay, uh, just yeah, move my tanks forward, siege them right here. Keep making units. Again, we're gonna go to this time. We can actually go to four tanks because we feel threatened, right? Also, look at our economy. Look at our gases. Let's fix that. Put a couple extra extra XTVs on the gases and stuff. Okay, we can aim. Uh, there's, yeah, there's an adept on my mineral line, but it's dead. These tanks owned it. We need supply depots. So build some supply depots. And now let's get rid of our bunker because we've. it uh, looks like we've secured everything. A move down the ramp with everything and let's lift and land our command center down there because we want, we want to expand. Also, now let's start building depots in a line, just like we did before there. So we're doing everything just like we were before. It's just delayed. It's just delayed. So let's put one tank on the high ground. Let's put one tank maybe like right there. And let's put one tank maybe like right there. Siege all these tanks. Let's also look at my money as well, right? We have a lot of money. So what can we do now? Just speed up the build as it goes, right? How we think about it. Let's go ahead and build a fucking uh, command center. And let's... Keep mining. Let's also re-rally our command centers down to the natural. So I can actually uh, properly saturate this base. So let's drop a bunch of mules at it. Make SCVs. Pull SCVs off. Go down there. And we're, we're good to go. We're happy. Easy peasy. Keep making depots. Now look at this tank shot with the depot line, right? It's like super close to the fog of war, so it looks like a nice place to put it. We're eyeballing it. Because the, the depots are going to be in a straight line, which is why we put the tanks in a straight line. Okay, we can make a fourth tank because again we felt threatened this game, so why not? You could stop at three. Uh, we don't feel threatened anymore, but we did feel threatened, so why not take a fourth tank just to feel extra safe? Let's get stim pack, and look at the natural. It's su it's saturated super fast right as it lands because we kept making SCVs the whole time. I didn't freak out and stay one base the entire game. Right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's go ahead and take another. Oh, we already have the command center, so let's take our gas. Sorry, and let's also take our depots now. Or I keep calling them depots. Our engineering base now, because now we need to spend the extra gas with some upgrades. We can put our fourth tank, like, right in the middle. Why not? Make another depot. Make that an orbital. Get a couple medevacs. And we're, we're cruising, man. We're fucking cruising. Let's make an armory. Or no, not yet, not yet, not yet. It's because why make it yet? Because we haven't even started upgrades yet, so it's a little early for that. We need the army to start 2-2, two, two, not 1-1. One, one. So we make it when the upgrades are like at least like almost halfway or like a fourth of the way or something like that. That's when you want to make it. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and lift and land this command center down in the third. Let's fix my economy first before we do our little drop maneuver. So rally my SCVs properly to this base. Keep making SCVs, keep producing units. Drop a round of mules here. We're doing macro first, then micro second, right? We're, we're doing like attack second, ourselves first. Uh, now we can start con uh, combat shields. Let's take our marines, load up a medevac. Control one the medevac and go to the right. Click, click, click. We just click every base on the right side of the map that we don't see yet. Now, let, now let's make an armory. Let's fix our main base as well. Let's send some SCVs down to the natural. Or the third, rather. Let's also make another command center. We could even make more depots going this way. And wall this to there. Make that a wall right there. That's another thing we could do. Keep making units. And now, check out my check out my money, right? Can't spend it. So, racks, 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 racks. I have full production constantly pumping out of the things we need. Because we're done making tanks for now. We can start making hellions. Oh, look, I found a base. Drop. Go back. I drop it. I just noticed. Go back. Drop that bad boy. SCV counts at 62. People love hiding bases, guys, in uh, in this game. This is why this maneuver, this tactic is so effective. People hide bases all day. Okay. Grab all these uh, thingies. Okay, we're getting attacked. What is it? It's Void Rays. So let's start making Thors then. So our opponent's going for air behind Cannon Rush. Classic. It's the oldest Protoss trick in the book. Uh, it's it's fine. So now, do I care about that medevac? No. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to load up another one. And I'm gonna, now going to check the right side of the map. I, mean, I just went to all these three bases and I'm going to wait there. Because I'm not, I know he probably has a natural. It's very likely at this point that he does. So I'm going to go there. And if there's no bases in that pathway, then I'll drop the natural after. Meanwhile, we're going medevacs. We're going Thors. And we're just making marines. Grab some more bio or some more SCVs and send them over to a new base. We can wall this off. Now that's walled. Send some more SCVs um, over here. Six more to be exact. And we can even take another base over there. Look, there's no bases. So now let's drop here and boost. I imagine there's a natural. There's gotta be. Because it's so late in the game at this point that there should totally be a natural. Start 2-2 two, two upgrades. Let's lower my depot wall so I don't have such a traffic jam because base we're getting ready to want to attack soon. Okay, so he's attacking our base over here. We can uh, we can select the army and we can go attack that, go defend that. Because, I mean, that's just going to keep killing SCVs for a while otherwise. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. Let's drop some mules here. Let's also repair the command center. Shift, click the mineral line. Maybe make some more depots for a second because we're getting close to blocking again. Fix our SCVs again. We need to fix the rally point. Rally our SCVs there. There we go. There we go. Oh, this command center got added to my control group. Bye, bye. You have to do a sub to, a sub to rough. Thank you, man. Thanks, dude. Okay, so our depots are almost done. That command center is almost done. When those finish, we should be fully ready to max out on supply. And this time, we're not maxing out near our quota at all. And why? Because the game got disrupted really heavily by a cannon rush. Which, again, it's fine. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Now, we're, ma we're basically maxed out, guys. So let's grab my army. And let's A move towards the front of this base. Oh, just kidding. That's, he's, definitely, he's attacking me first. So Okay. Wait, are you? No? All right. Repair that base and go back to what I was doing before. He ran away. Whatever. Let's expand again. SCV count needs to be upgraded a bit. SCV count kind of sucks. We're only in the 70s. We want to be in the 80s, right? We got to really keep tabs on that. So when some of these army units die, we need to remake some SCVs. Now, our my army's pretty grouped up. So let's stim pack A move his base right there. Okay. We can get these upgrades just because... Uh, smart servos and blue flame in case we want to make smart servo transitions or uh, hellions. I, d I doubt we're going to do them though, but yeah, just because we're fighting air. Now let's take my army. Let's attack in front of his base. Also, I can see I'm getting attacked by a Dark Templar. 
So if that happens, remember what we talked about? Like, that's also a great time to do it. He's going DTs and air. Let's now put like some detection around my base. Also, let's quickly scan my army like once. And just wait for a second. You can make a turret and a turret. Shift click the mineral line. You can make a turret on this side and you make a turret on the side. Shift click the mineral line. You can make a turret there. You can make a turret here. Shift click the mineral line. You make a turret here and here. Mineral line. You make turret here and here. Mineral line. You make new base, then turret, turret, mineral line. So I just went for turrets and, and uh, all over my base and just making sure we're good. Now select the army, hit the next base, stem pack. <coughs> Upgrades. Again, macro priority, right? We did macro priority, guys. We're not micro priority. We're doing macro priority. My base is more important than his base. So as long as I'm good, then I fuck him over. Okay, let's make a planetary. This is good. This is good. Okay, this base is nothing. So now let's take my army. Hey, move there. Stim pack. Okay, now SCVs. We need more, right? And there you go. We just we are now at 85 because we have one in queue. So that's going to be number 85. Now we need a lot of production. Remember my base? We just we focus on turrets. Now we need to focus on production. So let's make a lot more racks here. We definitely don't have enough racks. There you go. There's a lot of racks there. Let's make like a second factory here. Let's make a second starport there. Let's make another racks like there. And like another racks like there. Let's make maybe like two racks right there. Okay, I think that's probably good. <clears throat> Let's make a bunch of Marines. Let's make Thor. Let's make Medivac. Let's make a lot more. Let's grab our production. And again, what am I doing right now? What's my priority? Is it scanning those DTs that are killing my army in the middle left of the map? Or the top left of the map? No, I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because I can do that. I can make the army that just died again. What my priority is, is making sure my production can roll constantly because what if I ran into a storm? What if I ran into Colossus? What if I ran into a lot of other random things that could be even more cost efficient than a couple of DTs swiping me to death? That's what I need to make sure I can recover from really quickly. Not, again, don't get caught up being like, I gotta make this army win. And if you have a second, you can then scan and be like, cool, kill this army. Now we make a tech lab. We make a couple more tech labs on some of these other racks. Two right there, two right there. Let's make a reactor on that starport. And let's make all reactors on the rest of the, start, of, the, of the racks. Now we have a lot of production. Let's rally point in the front of my base. Let's make a new army again. Thor. Oh, we're maxed again. So if we're maxed, remember what we talked about? Select my army right here. Just group it up right there. And then go back here. Grab this. We can scan because there's the unit attacking. Green box it. Grab it. And let's go A move into his main base and see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Now that we've reorganized ourselves, that's all we did. Okay, and uh, yeah, and then now it would just be once again, while we're waiting for supply to die, we fix economy and go, you are good, you go there. What about this side? You're not good, fix that. This base is also not good, fix that. Send them all like over here, and then we can organize some of these by being like, grab some of these guys off here because they're all going to the space. And maybe have them go to a different base, like up here. Now we have nine. Then we have three extra there. We have four extra here. So grab four here. Grab three there. Send them all over here to the brand new base. And now probably expand again because we're running out of fucking places to send workers to. So it's just like try your best to like do the math and do, for in, um, you know for instance to like fix shit, fix your economy. Don't let shit. Do not let your bases ever be like. Literally like this, where it's like, oh, this is good. We'll just leave it like that for a while. And don't ever let your bases be like this either. Like if the base is mined out, don't ever let it just sit there like this. Like this is terrible. That is so much more important than scanning a DT to kill the DT up here because this guy is defending his one base with three DTs. And you're like over there be like, ah, shit, I'm trying to like do this right now. Like make sure that you're doing this shit first before you do this shit second. <coughs> and again, we can speed up. Go forward. Let's watch the cannon rush, right? Let's look at the supply throughout the cannon rush. No need to panic. Oh, yeah. No need to freak out. We were in control of that game the whole time. It felt great. This is the series that brought me here eight months ago. Thanks for your hard work. Keep it up. Love you, boss. Thank you very much, Pete. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
So I just made sure my Marine didn't run into a cannon. I made sure he went into a bunker. And then I ran my barracks away so it doesn't die. And I'm just repairing the, d the bunker against whatever's here. And I'm still making... I'm still making a second command center. I'm just not making it there. I'm still making my builder of a factory. But I'm just making... Uh, it's always in my main base. It's fine. I got to rebuild depots because these died. So I was supply blocked for a little bit. And I made them down here. And now this... You know what this bunker does? It's... It like... It, it's like a tourniquet. It like tourniquets off the fucking cannon rush that starts at the end of like your arm. And you put a tourniquet like on the middle of your forearm. So like it it, it just stops in place. It, the cannon rush doesn't progress any further. If it did progress further right there, I could always use my marines to kill the cannons. And also my SCVs to kill the cannons if I needed to. Um, but yeah, this bunker makes this really hard for him to progress any further than this. And I'm quickly getting a tank behind it. Because it's part of the build order. This is not out of the normal. Again, when I saw this cannon rush, guys, did I make four barracks and go, I need it? No, I didn't. I didn't give a shit. I did not freak out and make a bunch of racks. I still made the factory like normal. And then I made the second racks after the factory when I could afford it. The, the only reason why I can't afford it is because of shit like that where SCVs die. Because I just pulled them against zealots. Now, later on, I would have definitely pulled my marines out of that bunker. And I would have definitely used these marines faster. And I would have microed my marines. But again, for now, Silver League... That's not realistic. I'm not really expecting that. Just aim over the fucking mineral line. And guess what? Two base SCVs will recover faster than one Nexus Protoss with probes. So I've already lost eight... Or sorry, I've already lost six SCVs. But now that I have a cannon... Or a cannon killer, rather. A tank. I don't even care anymore. I'm like, ah, oh, cool. Now look at the Look at the economy. Even though, again, even though I lost six workers, he's only lost the one cannon rushing probe. I'm ahead by two workers. And he killed even more SCVs. So I lost another SCV because my, I mean, my tank's actually friendly fired one down. But it's fine. I'm in a great spot. I'm still making SCVs like crazy. And now this game turns back into two base versus two base. But I've been making SCVs a little bit faster because I've been making them throughout the cannon rush. So we're actually a little bit ahead in the economy. So I'm super happy. Like, uh, this is a great position for us. And his tech got reset as well because he lost all the gates. So now he, he just, like, straight up went... He's going double Stargate, no gateway. He's trying to rebuild a gateway. Like, this is definitely a pretty normal-looking game here. And we're in a great spot. And we also have a third command center behind this, like we normally build. That's because our, we, we built it off of our starport double racks factory. And, I mean, he's doing a proxy third. So it's all, everything's flowing, it's just going as normal. But this is a nice start for us to this game because we, he wasted a ton of money, which slowed him down a lot. He slowed me down too, but I do think he slowed himself down more because he didn't do enough damage. And it's because we just made a tank and a bunker, and it was easy peasy. And now look at the supply now. We're getting to that point again where we're doubling his supply. And why is that? This is when the drop phase has started. So our first drop goes along the right side of the map, and what does it do? Already, even before the drop happens, we're already almost doubling supply. It's really close. But first drop gets here, and we go, oh, cool, we just flew over a base. Come back, and let's drop that base. We drop right behind the mineral line, and what do we do? We, we kill some more probes, and we make him run away, and now he wastes all this mining time. And now he comes over here with Void Rays, like the other guy we played. My Marines actually walk away from the Medivac, but then suddenly the Medivac gets some range to heal them again, because Zealots hit the Marine close to it. And while this is happening, guys, look at production. Just look, like, look at the... Again, this is why I don't want you to micro. I say it every time. Look at production. Watch production tab up in top left. Look at... The micro of blue, like his camera is 100% on this fight. Look at my camera. It's 100% on my base. Now watch production, like watch the supply before and after the fight. 68 Protoss, 135 Terran. Okay? Now let's look and see what happens throughout this fight. Production. This fight started like 15 seconds ago. Now he's bringing the voids back in again.
He killed my medevac. He focus fired it. He's like microing. The voids are almost dead. He's microing the voids back in again. Oh my god, one of the voids died. The other void is pushing it to the limit. It pulls back. Is it going to go in again though? And now he starts macroing. I mean, to be fair, we didn't macro that fast either throughout this. I don't know what the fuck we were doing. Um, I mean, again, this is, it doesn't, it's not, oh, we're making more reactors. Or this is when we were making more racks and stuff and doing upgrades probably or some shit. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I didn't even macro that great either there. Like, what was I doing, right? I had like 30 seconds of building a Thor. That's really fucking bad. Could definitely have made that better too. And here's the thing. I mean, I don't want to mislead people and go, this is the, the buy, this is the best that vibes Terran can be. What I'm saying, there's more I could do as well. Obviously, I'm trying to play fucking slow because I think this is doable for silver. But the point I'm trying to make here is, is if you macro units during the process of fights like that, you're definitely going to have a better a situation for yourself to follow up than not. Because if you don't, you just... You get into these weird spots where you're always going to be behind. Always. And here goes the second drop. I think I was also setting up the second drop too. This is another thing I was doing. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. Macro, boys. There's the second drop. No micro. Just A move. Marines are now all going to die to the Zealot DT and Stalker. But they look what they did. They pulled an entire mineral line off. They were annoying as shit. There's still three Marines back there that haven't died yet that are still killing that. And now we have a Protoss who has one probe on this base, zero probes on that base, and 28, or sorry, 26 out of eight probes on that base. Not ideal. And it's also a situation now where there's 69, 69 SCVs versus 36 probes. Disruption. Distraction. Voice. Now when we get here, there's just is nothing that defends. The, the only thing that really does damage is the DT that just like swipes away for a while. <coughs> Maybe we may move the next base once we're done building buildings and shit. And building turrets for the DTs and then nothing was there. And then we may move the next base. And now this one is literally pure carrier, Dark Templar, and Mothership. And our army gets shredded by DTs. But it's not enough DTs to be enough to kill everything. So we kill all of his carrier mothership, and the DTs are still killing my army, like, for a while here. But the medevacs are healing a lot through it. Wasting time. And now the Protoss is not even trying to macro from this. I mean, he's pretty dead. But again, what are we doing? We're macroing. Production, we're making all of our racks, all of our stuff. It's all coming online, so we can remax all day. Hey. Okay, maybe like two more games. I think it's probably two more games. What's the master's portrait bug? So there's a bug right now on North America that will probably, I don't know. It's been in the game for like almost a year now, I feel like. Uh, where you play your placement matches and your MMR, your MMR is actually what your MMR is supposed to be. But it just places you in Masters 3. Regardless of your MMR. So it doesn't mean you're playing Masters 3 opponents. It just means you're playing bronze opponents or silver opponents or gold opponents, whatever your MMR actually is, because it's based off MMR, but your graphic is a Masters 3 badge. So everyone's like, is this guy Masters? What the hell? But then if you pay attention, it's like Masters 3 at 1600 MMR. No, he's not Masters. He's fucking like bronze. It's just a bug. <laughs> Okay, same thing again. Same thing again. Also, to elaborate one more time on uh, twelve pool, if you know, if you if you see, if your SCV like sees Lings coming as you scout the natural and Lings kill the SCV and then he's coming to your base, definitely cancel your natural, lift your depot in your main and put your marines behind your depot and build your command center back there. And then kind of do what we did against the cannon rush. Like, retake your natural, essentially. And you'll have a much easier time not getting fucked by that. I kind of... I want this guy to 12 pull us, because I want to show you an example of a 12 pull, rather than just saying it. I'm sure we'll get 12 pull at some point. Some Zerg is going to do it. 
Uh, but yeah. We'll see if this one does. If he doesn't, it's fine. And, what is, and people who are like, what does 12 pool mean, Vibe? It means he's attacking really fast. Okay. Get my SCV down to my natural. Okay, let's get another depot made. Command center upgrade complete. So we see a natural, and we're good to go. Means we're not gonna get attacked by. Oops! Wait! Wait! Whoa! 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 We're not going to the main. My bad. I didn't mean to click the main. No main scouting for now. It's too much. We're not focused on the main base yet. We're focused on the natural only. But now that there's a natural, what do we do with SCV? This SCV always comes back and wants to build depots either way. But now instead of building a bunker, because there's no natural, there is a natural. So we skip the bunker and we just build depots. Right, let's build the second Rex. Let's build a uh, second gas. My bad for contradicting you Sunday night. Error in judgment on my part. What happened? BTW, are you planning on entering any tournaments soon? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, Rosie Posey, you have nothing to apologize about. I don't even remember what you contradict me on. Uh, honestly, I I don't ever hold on to that shit. Whenever, whenever my stream says things to me where they argue with me a lot, it's like a Tuesday for me. <laughs> like, StarCraft community is one of the most backseat game heavy communities that has ever existed, so... People do that shit to me daily, and I if it bothered me, I, I wouldn't have been a streamer in this game for like the last 11 years. Like, it does bother me a little bit. I mean, I can't say it doesn't, but if it would have bothered me enough to, for me to get like super pissed about it and like ruin my night or something, then I would never have made it this far with streaming this, this game. I don't really care. You're totally fine. Uh, so you have nothing to worry about. I appreciate the 25, though. Thank you so much for that. Um, and am I going to play any tournaments soon? No, I, I retired like six years ago from pro gaming. And for StarCraft, and I have no intentions to play any more pro game stuff for this game. Uh, no intentions. I was a pro gamer for like five years at this game, from Wings of Liberty to mid Heart of the Swarm. A lot of people don't know that, that are newer to this game. But I, I already did my time with pro gaming, and I like content creating more for this game. I will, however, if like Frost Giant Studios makes a new game that's like really uh, represented well with esports, I'll go pro gamer at that 100% at the start for like a few years again this shit's really fun man being a pro gamer in a new game and in, in the exploratory phase of the game that's fucking fun okay let's go ahead and take our third command center let's take our gases set up our second tank on the side of the base here look at that beautiful line of sight with tank siege range beautiful let's take our stimpack upgrade and let's get ready to start engineering base. And then depots. Okay, we got four guys on gas, which now puts them to 6-6, six, because six, two of them are already on it, because they built it. Now let's make two engineering base. And then let's make just a couple depots. So we don't supply block. Start making medevacs. Keep making SCVs. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. <laughs> Let's put our second tank down to the exposed area of the natural wall, like right there or something. Watch, the seed should be like right there. All right, it's a little bit uh, perfect. That's actually fucking perfect right there. Awesome, like right on the shadow. It's a little off by like just like a centimeter or something for what I thought it was going to be. But yeah, I mean, like, look, look at me. I don't even fucking, I guess wrong, right? Like you're not, like these things are things you can eyeball and have a pretty good understanding of what it means eventually, but... I mean, you'll, you'll get there at some point. Everyone does. Okay, so we're shift moving the medevac around every base except the natural. I don't. I know he has a natural, but I don't know if he has this base, so my medevac's going to stop there. 
And it's gonna check every base on the top of the process to get there. Money's really high, so let's make racks. One, two, three, four. Shift click the mineral line. Let's go ahead and make our uh, armory so we can keep the upgrades rolling beyond 1-1. One, one. Let's start a couple more depots so we don't supply block. We're pretty good on supply, but still, we're trying. We're, make, we're really making sure we're not going to block. Okay. Let's take our third base. Grab these to my, add them into my control group for production. Let's add in combat shield upgrade for marines as well. And look, there's no base here, so now what I'm gonna do? Boost in and drop behind the mineral line, okay? Just drop behind the mineral line. I just hit D-click the ground. Drop medevac right there. So now all my marines are unloading on that one spot. Okay, we're making a bunch of reactors. <coughs> Let's make a vehicle weapon upgrade. Let's make another command center. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, my wall's raised, so there you go. We gotta fix that. Make sure, make sure we lower our wall. We can make another command center while we're at it. And now it's fully saturated. So let's, uh, we can also take our gas as well. It's all good. Now my medevac's dead, so let's take another medevac. Load it up. Same thing. Bottom side of the map. Check every base on the bottom side of the map. Get two two upgrades. And keep making our marines and stuff. Drop some mules here. Not Saturate our gases properly. Not enough now I haven't seen a base, guys. I haven't seen a base on uh, the south side of the map yet. Haven't seen a base yet. So we're, that's what we're looking for. He's not proxying me. Let's go ahead and take another command center because we're making SCVs really fast. We're doing a really good job this game, so we need to expand again quickly because this is already like oversaturating a lot. Okay, so he's there. So we can drop like right there. Okay. Build some more depots. Okay, let's make this a planetary over there. SCV count's almost done. And it looks like my army's dead, so let's do one more scout now. One more medevac. Go one more time along the top side of the map. And this time, once again, if there's no base here, we'll drop right there again where we did before. Let's grab a bunch of SCVs off this base and send them over to this one. Still over by two. Send them over. Then we can rally all these new SCVs that we're finally going to make to this new base that's almost done. And we just need to make six more SCVs. We're really close to being done. Transfer all my extra SCVs as well on other bases that are mined out down here. And keep macroing in the process, guys. We can get blue flame. Because we don't know what army he has. What if he's going for a lot of, like, lings and stuff? These Hellions are going to own. Super good against lings. And they're like, meh, whatever, against torches. Oh, he's got a base there, so let's now drop the mineral line there. Cool. Okay. Make a planetary. Let's expand again. Shift click the mineral line. Okay. Keep macroing. Ready for dust off. And now our medevacs are all dead. Or, or, like all our little drops we did. The three drops throughout the game are all dead. But now let's go ahead and actually move out. Be why? Because we're maxed out as well. Like we're also maxed. So let's go and grab my army. And let's a move like right. Like go here first. Because again, we don't want our army to spread in the middle of the map. We want to keep it all together. So we're going to go there first to organize it. And then shift a move like right there. And the reason why is because we want to attack that base, so we're going to group it all up just before it. If we attacked like there right away though, like just right there, right there, there's a chance some of my army could have gone down, some of my army could go up. If you ever experienced that, where some of your army gets really stupid and goes the wrong way, try to think about how you can shift a move across the map to make it better in, the, in these leagues. Okay, now my army's kind of grouped up. Uh, fix one of my economies, send it down there, that's fine. That's a move. Right here, okay? So we're gonna A move, stim pack, call it a day. Now go back to macroing as fast as we can. Factory, starport, racks, 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 racks. Hold shift, mineral line. Make units if we can, we can't. Make like a racks there, make a racks there. Shift mineral line. Uh, make like racks, 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 racks. 
Like, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Just build that shit. Now, let's grab all the buildings we just made. Grab them all. Shift four. I'm also producing out of the buildings at the same time. Grab them all. Shift four. Grab them all. Shift four. And now we actually have 25 production buildings, which is great. That's fine. That's all good. So now let's uh, go ahead and we're going to make a reactor on the factory. We're going to make a reactor on the starport because we're doing Hellions this game. Uh, Hellbats this game, rather. Because I haven't seen any mutas this game, so I don't I don't think he's going mutas. But do I care right now? I'm not scouting. It's okay. We're not worried about that yet. If we see a muta, we see a muta. If not, not a big deal. So now we're going to make all reactors. We're still making marines and shit out of our, our barracks. We're still making medevacs. We're still making hellbats. Now all the tech, the four tech labs we like to make are started. Now all reactors on the rest of the racks. We just hold C down and they all get made. Fix our economy. Economy's good. Economy's good. Economy's good. Economy's good. Go down there. Expand again. Shift click the mineral line. Now we're making marauders. We're making marines. We're making hellbats. We're making medevacs. We're spending all of our money in seconds. We're transferring SCVs. And we're, tra we're also transferring mules. Or rather, dropping mules. Mules, mules, mules. Three three is about done. Level 3 weapons for vehicles has started. Let's get building range and armor. This way it makes planetaries, turrets, and uh, better for damage. And it makes uh, every building more tanky in case this guy counterattacks our base. Marines and marauders, guys. I just held the button down. We're maxed out. Let's let this wave go come. And next time, let's attack the other side first. So we're going to attack there first. And we're going to attack in tour, in, towards into his base after. Let's re-rally all of our buildings as well. Like right here. Just somewhere in like the middle of my base. And everything's done. So let's grab my army. Let's go like this. A move right here. A move like... Or A move... Yeah, like right there. It's fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, everything looks good. Everything looks... Oh, fix that SCV right there. Everything looks good. It all looks groovy. Roger. This is what needs to be a planetary really soon. Army's pretty grouped up. But we're going to go down a ramp. Let's go ahead and A move down right here. So we can go through a choke point. Okay, he's right there. So let's just stim pack. He's there. So let's not fucking get crazy here. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Okay, he's he, we can see on the mini map he's pushing, so we can a move towards the back to our base. A move, stim pack. Now things are getting a little bit dicey because that, that was a random two ships passing in the night kind of a thing, right? And I look at the mini map, see what he talked about. Sometimes your units get really stupid and go one goes one way, one goes the other. But again, if things like this happen to you, is it time to panic? No, it's time to macro. <laughs> Instead of panicking, you might as well be macroing, right? Because look, I'm maxed out. Even though I just... Half my army... We haven't we even somehow won that fight. Which is totally great. So let's once again do the same thing. We somehow indirectly scouted this base. So let's A move everything down to there this time. Just outside of like... The air range of that base. Just a little bit. Group up. Rebuild the base that died. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're... Now we're, we're grouped up. Now let's A move. Here. Step back. Ready for dust off. Okay, checking my bases, checking my bases. Look at my supply. We're still maxed. Okay, that base is dead. So now, same thing. A move this base. Stim pack. Fix bases. Fix bases. Fix bases. Base is good. Base is good. And you know what this does is a lot, guys. You know what's happening as well. Remember how I told you to turn your camera speed up? You know how I do this a lot in my bases? What this is also getting used to is getting you comfortable with your camera movement speed. So you can actually, like, accurately grab shit. So it's not like if I tell you, scroll your screen to the command center, you're not going like this. Okay. Oh, dang it. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh, God. Where is it? And so you go like this. I go, go to the command center. You go, okay. Done. You get more used to it, so you're like comfortable with how the camera pans around the map. Okay, next army, a move into his natural stim pack. Make marauders, make marines. Hold down the buttons. Look at my macro right now, or my APM. I'm holding the buttons down, guys. I had a thousand APM right there. I just held the buttons down. I held down D, A, tab R, tab D, let go. Suddenly, 1000 APM. Beast mode. That wasn't me going. It was just me going, <laughs> holding a button. This guy's creep is really nice. Uh, yeah. 
again, another Zerg dies, we'll, another player dies, we'll just times eight it through it and just see supply. And see drops again. <coughs> comes the drop. Moving forward like a machine. Comes down. What does it do? It stops for a second, then it sees the base. And it kills barely anything. It, it kills a couple things. It kill, we killed a couple drones, and then we died. Now what does this drop do? Comes forward. We land. We actually kill a queen. We kill a couple uh, drones, and then the medevac dies. I mean, nice, right? Nice. I mean, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's fine. Another drop comes over. We kill a couple things, and we've actually, lo again, we've lost more than the Zerg has up to this point. So our drops haven't even been that efficient. But we've kept the Zerg defensive the entire time, which has allowed us to take control of the map. Which is beautiful. That's really nice. Our push completely dies on that first one. And we, we actually, again, we're taking inefficient trades here repeatedly. Not by much, though. But yet, we're able to still max out repeatedly but faster than Zerg can because we have ridiculous macro capabilities here. Here comes the next fight. Zerg kind of catches us like we're in a weird location. Some of our army engages there. Some of our armies up here. And it kind of missed the point, or they missed the engagement. But again, like, look at the income, guys. Like, we just are able to, we're able to maintain this, like, juicy, juicy, juicy income over our opponent. Juicy income. This guy did a really good job, though. Overall, he did a pretty good job. Trying to, like, make it work. <coughs> but we just go, we just, if we didn't kill him here, let's say my army died. Let's say my army died. You know what I would have done next? I would have gone to the other side of the map again and attacked downwards. I would have checked base, 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 base. Because you, know, you don't want to ever just fixate on the main base. Fixate on the main base. You don't want to do that. That's bad. We would have definitely rotated the other side. And there we go, dude. Silver one. So, yeah, the, the medevac drop definitely, I would say, is a good addition here. Uh, not that hard to do, I feel like. And it's, it's now the new form of scouting. And it's going to be the new way we attack our opponent uh, for here, from here on out. Uh, you know, with this bronze to plat version. So it's medevac drops followed up by a real timing attack. No more of these one marine poking scouting things anymore. Okay, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you I hope this helped you a lot. I hope this is informative and you you know, now you're suddenly as a Terran player you're you're doing great in the in your silver division. And again, we're just gonna keep going forward. We're not gonna stop, boys. This train is not even close to stopping yet. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, good luck in your own games, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.